Very good. I think that can potentially go up a touch as well, actually, if, uh, if you can. Yeah, well, maybe we should be there. Yeah, let's go there. We'll get a bad overview. Okay. This time we'll have to be a plane. Good morning, ladies and gentlemen. Morning. Welcome to the Sunday show here on Airliners Live. Uh, audio, do we turn it down on the camera? Um, oh yeah, maybe turn it down by one notch. So it's peeking out. There we go. That's pretty standard. Hey, 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 hey. Yep. Let us know how, uh, how that audio is coming through, guys, please. Yep. Let us know how me and Martin sound if we're the same level and all that stuff. I think you're quiet to be honest. Let okay. me turn you turn you up. One two check, two. check 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 check. Hello, hello. One and two Manchester Airport. Here yep. we go, we got loads of planes pinging on the ground. Okay. Including the Singapore Flight 52. Off to Houston. Regular start of the show this, isn't it? Seeing this plane. It is. It's an A three fifty nine hundred on the Singapore Airlines. That's taxiing to the start of two three right. We are in the uh, the eye of the storm, I suppose you can say today. <laughs> uh, obviously, yesterday here at Manchester it was a uh, crazy windy. Um, and uh, later today it's meant to be very windy again. So we must be in the middle of it all. Sounds okay now. Brilliant. Thank you. Manchester Houston must be cargo. I don't think this is a cargo flight, no. I think we have passengers on board. We also have an aircraft on approach as well. So Ryan, uh, flight 1862 from Cork in Ireland. Nice little flight over to Manchester to 737-800. Cameron flying banana with a two pound super chat already. Thank you so much, dude. Thank you, dude. And uh, we also had a super chat before we started. I'm going to have to have a look at the mod chat because Matt Smith got a photo of it. Really? Yeah, and I didn't. I didn't see it because uh, the chat's wiped it off already. Capem, good morning on Twitch. Nice to see you, dude. Style of Beats as well. Nice to see you guys. There are some more names, uh, ladies and gents. I'll read out in a minute. Uh, appreciate the screenshot, Matt, saying uh, a super chat from Belgius, £25. Thank you very much, Belgius. Starting the stream off with a bang. Yep, saying it's early, it's personal, and for me, uh, great value and money. There you go. Amazing. Thank you very much, dude. Appreciate it. Oh, slam that nose, uh, <laughs> nose gear down there, son. Phil saying good morning from Australia. Hey, Phil. Good uh, evening to you, or good day, I suppose you'd say, right? It's our first arrival of the day. We don't usually see Ryanairs these days, <laughs> that as often as we used to. Oh, loads of super chats coming through. I'll read them out as soon as this Ryanair has got out of our way. Thank you so much, guys. Yeah, 
family of the a member of the uh, Ryanair UK family this uh, the 737 registration golf Romeo uniform kilo Bravo obviously Ryanair have a number of different subsidiaries based in different countries I'm assuming for very uh, <laughs> very normal reasons So the first super chat that came in before, some bloke who travels a lot. Good to see you in the chat, dude. Cheers, some bloke. Appreciate you, mate. Morning, guys. Uh, here all morning. Looking forward to it. Nice one, dude. Well, I hope you uh, enjoy the show. Thank you for the continued support, dude. I really do appreciate it. And all the uh, posts and uh, clips you put in the VIP lounge as well. Very active member of the VIP community. Where in the world are you these days, dude? I've heard you travel quite a lot. And another super chat, oh my gosh, another super chat from Laurie M, the newest member of our uh, moderation team. Can we get some bing bongs for Laurie, ladies and gents? We're 35 US dollars. Wow, thank you, Laurie. Cheers, Laurie. Any time now. You if I get itchy nose, you know, like when you need to sneeze and you don't know when it's going to happen, so you're yeah. just kind of like... So apologies, ladies and gents, if I just blast the sneeze down the <laughs> microphone. <laughs> Laurie's saying, let's get the Sunday show off to a smashing start. Everyone, please smash the like button and share the stream. Yes, Laurie, doing our job for us. And a good job at that. And thank you for the $35, Laurie. Really appreciate it. Thanks, Laurie. This aircraft is a KLM Flight 1073. Inbound from Amsterdam Schiphol. Another 737-800. Um, pretty much always sending the 737s into Manchester these days, whether it's the 700 or the 800 series. And Capham gifting a tier one sub or a tier one tub to um, Fisher 88, eight, oh, sorry, 855. Cheers, Capham. Cheers, mate. What a skyline behind that, all the clouds. Nice and scattered. And a bit of sunshine today. Singapore A350-900 off to Houston in the United States of America. We've got a couple of Jet 2 movements as well. There's always a flurry of Jet 2s at this time in the morning. Usually off to the Canaries. People jetting off to uh, a bit of sunshine down in Africa. 
The first one is uh, flight 909 and that's uh, off to Fuerteventura. Is it raining? No, not not today for once. Not yet. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, not yet. A um, friend of mine, because uh, I was in the, the shop I used to work for yesterday, and um, one of my friends who works there has just come back from Fuerteventura. She said it was lovely. Nice. It had, it had an amazing time. And uh, I think I asked you about this, didn't I, the other day? Have you ever been on a jet ski? Because she said yeah. she did, and she said it was the best time she's had. Like, Yeah, it was good fun. Because like I said, I usually avoid the jet skis, because you, you go there, and you look at the um, the different boats they have on offer, and they usually have the pedlos as well, and the pedlos will be like 10 euros for an hour, and the jet skis will be like 100 euros for an hour. So me being the, the stingy person I am, Usually, uh, just usually go just goes for an old paddle. Yeah, that's it. I can go just as and fast as I try. Some guy just yeets past you yeah. on his jet ski, like yeah, I have that. It splashes all over me as well. Have a bit of this. <laughs> but ladies and gents, can we get some mega bongs in the chat? Here he Whoa, is. Oh, mega bong himself, Mr. Kevin. Yeah. With a fifty-pound mega bong. Woo, ladies and gents. Hey Martin and Andy, it's an early little donation. Cheers, Kevin D. Thank you, Kevin D, for the massive mega bong again, mate. Yeah. You're uh, you're like the pillar of airliners live at this point with your uh, <laughs> donations, dude. Really the guardian appreciate of the you. galaxy. Thank you, man. That's uh, that's super kind, dude. And it can't be a Kevin D donation without the term little donation. It certainly in, can't. In the in the text. So yes, on the taxi out, we've got flight at nine oh nine. It's a flight of insurer jet two. Another 737. And a citation just touching down um, oh, yes. before the Jet 2 departs. And that's from Stockholm. Under the carrier Flex Light. <laughs> Be careful with that name, won't you? You do. <laughs> yeah. And Christine. Van der Hulks with a five pounds super chat as well. Ooh, thank no, you, Christine. No message. We appreciate it. Thank you so much, everyone. Thanks for the early support, guys. Kicking the show off with a bang. Here on the Super Sunday show on Airliners Live. You know it is the place to be on your Sunday mornings. It certainly is. Or whatever time it is in the world. Says the citation CJ2 plus. <laughs> Cheers, Ben, saying great stream. And on Friday, he was on Terminal One car park. Yeah, oh, we've, nice. We've not been there for a while car parks no it's a very unique take on a uh, Manchester airport <laughs> Ronaldo yeah <laughs> There was one time when uh, we were joking saying Ronaldo, and it actually was. It actually was, is that? Yeah, 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 yeah. He does have a private jet, and he tends to fly in and out of Manchester. Jet 2 now rolling. Shallow departure there as usual. Hope you guys like 737s because another one's just pinged up on the ground. Is it? 737 Max 8 this time. Off to Chambry, which I believe is in France, right? In south of France, I think. Yep. Uh, that's a 2E flight 2626. So 2626. It's a Boeing 737 Max 8. Usually, your two, you see them fly 
mostly 737s here at Manchester, but we do get quite a few Dreamliners. And if you're lucky, a 7-6. And up until only a few months ago, um, 7-5s as well, which is a, a sad departure from them. We had another Super Chat, though. Give me a moment. Jason Evans with a £4.49 Super Chat. Saying great Cheers, Jason. Great show as always. Keep up the brilliant work. Cheers, Jason. Very kind, mate. Thanks a lot. So what VIPs do we have in the chat today? Let's get some wave emotes in the chat, shall we? And we read out some names from our beloved continued support of our VIPs. Do appreciate you guys. And you guys know you're getting some exclusive VIP merch, uh, which we haven't added to the shop yet. I need to do still. Uh, yesterday, yesterday was pretty busy. Uh, didn't have a chance to. And speaking of merch, we do have a lot of new merch on the website. We including, do. Including another item which we almost forgot about. <laughs> um, which we're adding um, this week as well to the website. Would you want to mention that as well? We certainly can. As a very highly requested addition to the store, guys, we have got Airliners Live caps being added to the store this week, guys. Very excited to uh, get those added. But uh, if you've not seen the store in the last couple of days, we've added car stickers, logo car stickers, tower car stickers, um, brand new A380 t-shirts, brand new Beluga t-shirts, yeah. mugs. Loads of mugs. Guys, all, all we've, the mugs. Uh, we've added loads, so head to shop.airlinerslive.com to go and purchase your merch. We will be doing another big shipping day tomorrow. So, um, if you want to get yours dispatched tomorrow, go and place an order now in the store, guys, and we will get those on the way to you, ladies and gents. And this Jet 2's come from, um, come from Edinburgh. So, Jet 2 737, 737 Sundays, right? Yeah. <laughs> Registration Golf Juliet Zulu Bravo Juliet. And the Jet 2737 in the dot com livery. Another Jet 2 rolling as well. Jet 2 flight 8901 to Lanzarote. Using a lot of runway there. It's roughly a four hour flight down to the Canary Islands. So we got some wave emotes from Scott. We got Lee Davies in there. We got Laurie M, Big Engine Club, Richard P, Loopy's in there. We've also got Matt Smith as well. Best behavior, everyone. Thank you for the continued support, guys. We also got Capham gifting another. Sia one tub over on Switch. Uh, El Plagiato, I think it's pronounced. Cheers, Captain. Legend man, supporting the channel. Appreciate you, dude. Thank you for uh, gifting so many subs to the community. Thank you, mate. Yeah, we're trying to build up the Twitch community, ladies and gents. Um, we have been streaming regularly on Twitch now for a couple of months. Um, so if you are a regular in the channel and you would like to support the channel, the best way to do so is by becoming a subscriber. Don't forget to check them Twitch Primes. Or if you've received a gifted sub, make sure you say thanks in the chat, guys. So on the taxi out, we have the original Jetsu A321 celebrity. Hi, Liff, we like to call her. Hotel Lima Yankee Foxtrot. Jetsu A321 in the holidays livery. That's on the taxi out now, and that's flight 9017 off to Tenerife South Airport. But just before that, we got a uh, 
Turkish Airlines flight uh, 1993 from Istanbul. Another regular that we see on the show. Uh, it's Airbus A321neo. Andy Broadman saying, would it be a pain to ask you to take the uh, merch to the airport some streams so people can purchase live? Um, um, ideally not really. Yeah, because I, I don't really want to be conducting business at the RVP, dude, I'll be honest. It's, uh, yeah, it's not, it's not a, it's not what we should be doing really. But um, this coming Sunday, um, we will Saturday. be... Saturday. Saturday, sorry, yeah, Saturday. Uh, this coming Saturday, we will be at the Runway Visitor Park at the Memorabilia Fair here, which I believe is free to go to, isn't it? It's all just uh, yeah. public access. You can just come on down, pay for your parking. And it's inside the Concord hangar here at the Runway Visitor Park. Uh, you're all more than welcome to come on down. Myself and Martin will have a, a booth here where we'll be selling our merchandise and basically advertising the channel and also meeting um, the community as well. But don't just come for us though, because there'll be loads of other tables as well from other aviation related memorabilia. Some awesome stands there. And I'm now hoping we'll uh, either be next to or close to our friends from manning.co.uk as well. They'll be down, ladies and gents, selling some very rare tags as well. Yes. So make sure you come down and visit those guys. Uh, I believe uh, Ken from Visions International. We'll be there too. Is he here again, is he? Yes, and also uh, Doors the Manual will be here as well. Nice. So uh, they're just some I know of. I've seen posting. Do you want me to take it? They're just some that I know of. Uh, I know there'll be plenty more as well. Just like a great atmosphere, loads to buy, loads to see and do, loads of people to meet as well. But Andy Boardman, I mean, what I would say is we could probably add like a collect in person option to the website and as long as you've paid for it and everything like that and you just want to literally just pick it up and um, then after the stream i don't see any reason why you wouldn't be able to just pick it up um but we definitely wouldn't be able to start passing handing money around at the rvp because that's uh that's not what we've been um well i i, I don't even know if it'd be an issue but it's not something i even want to approach to be honest um jerry norden thank you very much for the premium economy membership bing bong and uh mickey or mikey 1986 thanks for your tier one for two months big man really appreciate that and following that christine with a five pound super chat as well bing bong saying sorry about um the message i'm getting old 73 saying uh, again today so thanks guys Maybe another one from there as well, I can't remember. Might well just stop working on there. Yeah. They might have only worked with the... Um... Oh no, that's, sorry, that's, that is your old phone, isn't it? Yeah. Turkish Airlines A321neo taxiing past here. No swap? Yeah, yeah. And James Cope with a four pounds forty nine super chat. Cheers, James. I do appreciate that. And Daniel Arthur with a four pounds forty nine as well, saying, "Great show as always. You're smashing it, lads. Best show in the world by far." Yo, I love that. <laughs> I'm on the bus, I'm also going down to here. I could have got the 8 o'clock to Wimslow and walked down. Cheers guys, appreciate that. that. Appreciate the kind messages as well, they mean a lot. I don't fancy that walk down again. Now. It's kind of like the feedback that shows you guys are enjoying the shows, right? She's my queen. 
Now on final approach into Manchester at uh, 3,500 feet, we do have a um, a Buzz Air Ryanair 737, but it is just a Ryanair livery. And that's from Gdansk in Poland. Departed just over two hours ago. And there's a lot of planes pinging on the ground right now. Oh my gosh, it's a busy day. And uh, Mickey C with a gifted sub over on Twitch. Thank you, Mickey. Appreciate that. Um, with a CR1 tub to Yodix. Appreciate it, dude. All good. What, what have you done? Oh, yeah. I think you've done it the other way. <laughs> you've made it more tangled there. So on the taxi out now we do have the, I think it's the Max from before, yeah it's the 2E flight 2626. Sorry about the banging on the microphone then guys, I managed to wrap it about 19 times around the HDMI cable. There you go. Whoa, you're giving out info, we use an HDMI cable. Really? You use HDMI? Whoa, oh whoa, my gosh. whoa, watch out. What kind of HDMI cable? No, I can't tell you that. What's the length? Tell me now. No. <laughs> We get that a lot. People just come up to us and goes, "What's that?" I'm like, well, I'm not telling you. You gotta, you gotta, you gotta do your own research, dude. <laughs> let's, uh, let's get out of here. There we go. So we got a bunch of planes. Oh gosh, look at this, guys. Woo! Loads going on. Um, Virgin Atlantic um, to Bridgetown A330 has just been pushed back. To be seeing him in a minute. Um, we've also got a Tui Dreamliner uh, from Montego Bay pinging up. Another Tui Dreamliner to Cancun. Did we flick oh. the on switch on Manchester Airport this morning? We've got a, uh, a Helimed flying over as well. We've also got a uh, jet to, to Gran Canaria along with um, the Air Lingus A321, no destination yet, so that might just be being moved to its stand. Yeah, I think it's been picking up for about half an hour now, so... And they usually don't go out till the afternoon. So, ladies and gents, so far on the show, what do you think of my camera work, Kappa? <laughs> do you think my camera work's been alright so far on the show? Yeah, can we give a massive shout-out to Jane Chu with a £10 super chat, Bing Bong. Says, hi guys, put this towards your coffees, guys. Uh, sat up in bed watching and loving again. Thank you, Jane. That's very kind. Really appreciate that. Glad you're enjoying the show as well. Happy Sunday to you. Um, Brian Bruce with a 4.99 Super Chat Bing Bongs saying, uh, Good morning from Detroit. It's a chilly 13 degrees Fahrenheit, which is minus 11. Oh my gosh. Um, like <laughs> you are having a good weather in uh, Manchester, have a great stream. Thank you very much, Brian. Really appreciate the support, dude, and hope you. Uh, Keep warm in that temperature, my mate. We'll uh, we'll not complain about the cold today. Yeah, it is pretty chilly, but there's not much of a wind today, so we're we're pretty we're pretty calm. And uh, Colin Howard with another ten pound super chat, Bing Bong, saying uh, great stream as always, guys. Nice to see some sunny weather too. It certainly is, mate. It certainly is. And look at that support train over on YouTube. Very very uh, long support train on there. Appreciate you. Saying the camera works HDMI's great. from uh, Poundland, <laughs> says uh, <laughs> Mikey on there. Hey, listen. Hey, I've tried that before. They, they last about four four days and then they're, they're causing you problems. And um, Mikey, thanks very much for gifting a tier one sub to the community as well. So Yodix, um, well done to you. You've just got a tier one sub. Uh, and this is Home Brand. Thank you very much for your subscription as well, guys. Everyone supporting the channel today. That's crazy. And the reason why I ask about my camera work so far is because it's not been me. Ah, I got you. Ah. I know you guys like to meme on the fact that Martin jumps on the camera sometimes. <laughs> uh, and he was on for the I've first I've been on for the first little bit. There you go, some bloke who travels a lot with the eight months of first class membership, Bing Bong, saying, where did that go? Only seems like uh, the other week. There you go, dude. Time flies when you're having fun, big man. But thanks a lot, ladies and gents, for supporting the channel again today. Loads of Super Chats coming through, loads of uh, VIP sign-ups as well. It really does help the channel out a lot. And uh, this Ryanair's inbound from Gdansk. Uh, just touched down. Flight time of about 2 hours and 15 minutes. Uh, Four-year-old aircraft as well. Pretty new, as most Ryanairs are.
Now, ladies and gents, can we hit 35,000 subscribers on today's show? Oh, yeah, good point. I think it's possible. Uh, Mahoney Timo, we've already been offered partnership on Twitch, uh, but we can't accept it because we're multi streaming. Tell you what, it's, you can slow, like I was sat at home, right? Right. And you can slowly see the nights getting longer. Yeah. And you can slowly feel it just warming up as well. Nights get shorter, you mean? Uh, sorry, the, the days, days getting, getting longer. Yeah, yeah. And, and it feels like just a little bit warmer today. Yeah, it does, yeah. It feels warmer. I don't think it actually is warmer, but it feels it. Yeah. We're getting there. This is two aircraft on the road to Chambry. And like we were saying, ladies and gents, lots and lots of new merchandise on the store. Ladies and gents, if you do want to go and purchase yourself some merchandise, head over to store.shop.airlinerslive.com to purchase brand new merch we've got. New prints, new t-shirts with the A380 and the Beluga design. We've got yep. mugs. We've got Valentine's Day mugs. Yeah, we're going to have caps as well. Caps are coming today. We've got two brand new stickers coming through as well, which yes. uh, one generic spotter's tower design to really yep. sort of represent Manchester. We've also got the Airliners Live logo sticker as well yep. in there. So, ladies and gents, there's loads of brand new um, merch to go and take advantage of in the store. And Sasha McCarthy, thanks for your 149 super chat. Bing bong. Let's hit 35k by the time the A380 lands. Optimistic, but not impossible. <laughs> says playing spot in Ringway. I like the optimism, though. Let's that's, do it. That's what we like on this show. <laughs> Bob says, I love the new mug. That's excellent. Hey! <laughs> what a lad. He's going in with a dad joke straight away. There you go. And uh, Brian with another 499 Super Chat, Bing Bong, saying this morning is warmer than yesterday morning. It was minus 17. Years. Ugh, nah. Not for me. Mate, if it was minus 17, I think, I think I'd just call it. Yeah. I'd just go, you know what, even, today's not going to happen. Wouldn't I'll even just, go outside. I'm going to stay here. <laughs> it's crazy how cold it gets in parts of the world, isn't it? Like, yeah. Some places, I had a friend from, well, one of my best friends from Russia, he was saying that um, there was one day because you know here in the UK if we get a bit of snow everything shuts you know the yeah. the airports shut the schools shut everything shuts whereas uh, in places like that everything just carries on and he was telling me one day he was walking to school in minus thirty five degrees Celsius really? walking to school Jeez. minus thirty five degrees Celsius like is that even like what <laughs> crazy like, how does that even feel like. How do you not just instantly just turn to an ice cube, you know? Yeah. We've got one of our favourite airlines to see at Manchester right now, Virgin Atlantic. And that's just taxiing out. Um, and that's going to be on its way to Bridgetown. Uh, yeah, we have Subsonic. Yeah, we've done a, uh, a Heathrow show as well. We have. I'm not a huge fan of Heathrow Airport, if I'm honest. It's okay. It's a bit different, but... It's just for for what we prefer on this channel. It's it, there's too many posts and problems yeah. with spotting there, and and it, I think this the enforcement of the <laughs> locations is quite aggressive as yeah, well. Yeah, it's not really for me. I mean, it's cool, especially for photos. It's good. Can we hit a thousand likes, ladies and gents, before eleven o'clock? Have we ever done that before? I don't think we have. Can we hit a thousand likes before eleven o'clock, guys, on YouTube? Click the thumbs up. Let's smash it. Mods, keep us up to date in the chat. We're already at 2,000 viewers. Let's go, ladies and gents. 1,000 likes before 11. That's it now. Come on. Let's see that like count go up. I think enough of you hit it. We will do it. And following behind the Virgin Atlantic is a TUI Dreamliner Dash 8, uh, which is going to be making a trip to Cancun. And yep. uh, that flight is 4,850 miles. No, London Heathrow is not spotter friendly at all. It's not like Manchester or Amsterdam Schiphol where there's just loads of places to spot from and 
there's definitely not a problem with doing it here at all obviously there's some rules like sort of ground rules you need to follow when it comes to spotting here at Manchester for example um, but uh, as long as you're, you're, you're sensible like most people are then you're going to have a great time Cheers this. Subsonic saying he's going to hop over to YouTube from Twitch and uh, give it a big fat like the commentary here at the runway visitor park just starting courtesy of the Aviation Society yep Fantastic guys Whoa. over there, and they're behind this event that's taking place on Saturday. We're very excited for that event. I'm really it? excited, yeah. This Saturday, everyone, make sure you're at the Runway Visitor Park. If you can make it, get yourself down. We're going to have a stand set up. We're going to be selling our merchandise, meeting the fans, um, and also there'll be loads of other stands and things to do uh, at the memorabilia fair Yeah. on Saturday. I think it opens at like 10 a.m. Saturday morning. So same time as the stream start, really. An easy jet flight 329 uh, Zulu um, is just touched down from Geneva. Flight number on that is uh, 1954. Flight time of uh, an hour and 40 minutes today. See this route quite often, don't we, these days? Recently, yeah. I think it's kind of in the season, isn't it? Like, ski don't know if it's like ski holiday time. And yeah. Plenty of skis on board this plane, I'm sure. Yeah. And the time is ticking away, ladies and gents. Can we hit a thousand likes before 11 o'clock? I cool. think we're about 700 at the moment, so only 300 of you need to do it. We've got a tiny aircraft on the taxi out as well, which has just come from Signature. And uh, that's the aircraft that just landed a few minutes ago, actually. From Flex Flight, Cessna Citation 525. Camadona tuning in from the Philippines, welcome to you. What's that? Oh, thank you. Thank you so much. What's your name? Howard. Oh, you're a legend. Big shout out to Thanks you, so mate. There you go. Another that. IRL bing bong, ladies and gents. And Howard thank just going over to the mound and dropping a five pound super chat, ladies <laughs> and gents. Very generous, very generous. Still feels very strange, that. Still feels very, very <laughs> strange. It's like a recent thing, that as well, and it's not. Yeah, it's not been something that's happened very regularly, has it? No. I must admit. So let's unveil all the aircraft we have lining up. We got a. There's a Cessna Citation somewhere there. She is. Diddy little plane. I'll tell you what, Manchester's on fire this morning, isn't it? I know everyone was waiting. Everyone's out and about. You know, everyone was waiting for Sunday to appear on the Sunday show. Good morning all, beautiful uh, morning for such an amazing hobby, says Matt Kennedy. It certainly is, man. Nice to see you in the channel this morning, Matt. Uh, there's a Tui Dreamliner, I think that's the one that's off to Cancun, and also a, it looks like an Austrian on approach. No, it's a TAP Air Portugal Express Embraer. We are seeing some merch orders coming through as well, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you very much for those. Yes. So there's only, there's a limited stock in at the moment of the mugs. Um, but if we sell out, we'll just order more. So if you want to get yours on this first shipment, uh, make sure you order ASAP so we can ship it out immediately. I think you'll be shipping them out tomorrow, right? I'll be doing a big run tomorrow, yeah. Uh, well, I mean, it depends how long we're out for, right? Oh, yeah, okay. Yeah. Yeah. Um, well, regardless, it'll be with you this week if you're in the UK. Tap Express, touching down from Lisbon. It's an Embryo 195. We're going to lose enough speed. I think so. We should do. We should do. Uh, awesome. Ad64. Nice to see you, mate. Hope you're doing well. And uh, Sky Runner tuning in uh, and joining the show. Cheers, everyone. The A380 has just entered the UK's, uh, I guess, airspace. Nice. Yeah, I love the taps as well. I think they're uh, pretty cool. Awesome to see a, a long list of aircraft ladies and gents on the taxi out not seen this for a while but mr willie p with the merch order just going to cheers will appreciate nice you man will. hope you're doing well and the aircraft just um, lining up is the virgin atlantic a330 to bridgetown so we'll be catching that straight after this tap air portugal
Uh, did you work out how to sell the VIP mugs? We haven't yet. It'll be on the list for today, Andy. Sorry. Yeah, it's not the time, I'm afraid. We'll do it today, though. Yes, that is. Anybody who is a uh, paying... <laughs> Let's get us a bit of space, pal. Please. So. Anybody who's a paying member of Airliners Live, whether you're on YouTube, Facebook, Twitch or Patreon, uh, you will be entitled to the purchase of a VIP mug, which is a VIP exclusive bit of merch, which has the Airliners Live new logo on it, as well as a, a little message on there with the the, um, the VIP logo and a little message saying, um, a proud supporter of Airliners Live. Busy takeoff lineups. I know this is the place to be, right? Uh, one of the wide bodies are on the runway right now. I think it's the yes, yeah, the Virgin. Is it three thirty. It is a three thirty. It is. Yeah, it's a bridge down. Do they even fly the Dreamliners out of Manchester anymore? Are they just keeping it three thirties. I mean, we've we've only really seen the three thirties recently, haven't we? Yeah, they started with the Dreamliners for a while, and then slowly introduced the three thirties, and now it just seems to be all they use, which. I ain't complaining. It would make sense to keep it all the same plane here at Manchester if they've got enough of them. And they'll probably use the Dreamliners down at Heathrow as well as the 350s. Another TUI Dreamliner is on the taxi out as well. TUI Flight 114 off to Montego Bay. It's a 787 8 8 Dreamliner. Yeah, loads of merch orders coming through. <laughs> is it? Yeah, it's just crazy. Every time I look, there's another one. Thank you guys. Thank Very you kind. so much. Appreciate it. Yeah, so. As Martin said, one last time I'll mention, we have plenty of new merchandise on the Airliners Live store. Limited stock until it runs out and then we'll order more, of course. Uh, on the mugs, uh, plenty of stickers to go around though, so make sure you add one of them onto your order as well. We've got yeah, the car loads stickers. of stickers to sell, yeah. Yep, the car stickers are fantastic. High quality, and they also go on the inside of your window in the car, so they're not open to all the elements. So they, they yeah, last. so bear that in mind when you buy them, guys. They are designed to stick to the inside of the window, <laughs> so that when you're on the outside, you can see the design the right way round. So yeah. don't try and stick it to the outside, outside of your window, because then it's going to be backwards. <laughs> and then wonder why. It's like, hang on, why is my sticker backwards? No, well, there you go. That's why. But it means it lasts forever, right? Like... But Nigel saying, uh, great show, nice to see Manchester busy again. Uh, yeah, I mean, it's getting there, it's getting there. I mean, it's uh, slowing down a touch now, but um, that was a nice busy period for us, I'd say. 842 likes saying, Loopy, there we go, let's keep going. Hit the like button if you're not already, we're trying to hit 1,000 before the hour. Yep. 10 minutes. 10 minutes to go, ladies and gents, if you click the thumbs up now, let's hit 1,000 likes before 11. And Esther saying, can I have a massive birthday shout out, please? Love watching the show. Can we all give a massive happy birthday to uh, Esther Ringley in the chat? Oh, Esther. Happy birthday. Always active in the VIP chat. And BA on the roll. Oh, yes, I didn't see, see that. Either that's a helicopter or a bird. That's a bird. Up already, the British Airways Shuttle Service. Plunging the runway visitor park into darkness for a moment there. A British Airways eclipse. Got two uh, when's the fan event again? The fifth, uh, so the fifth, uh, which is basically this Saturday coming. Wonder if that's going to depart. I very much doubt it. Oh, no. That's usually a late night thing. Yeah, it is. <laughs> uh, next out is a two E Dreamliner to Cancun, and uh, it's just lining up f uh, via Juliet One. 
I wouldn't mind going to Mexico, you know. But one place I've been looking at recently, last night I had a big, like, you know, I think I sent a video in the, the mod chat as well. Of um, Has anyone in the chat ever been to Crete in Greece? Oh my gosh, that place looks 10 out of 10. Is that? Yeah, I was just immediately looking at flights, because I think, um, I think uh, Ryanair fly there from Manchester usually. Gosh, what a place though, it looks beautiful. Everything you could imagine, you know, like really nice landscapes, white sand beaches, blue seas, or really green, like clear seas, great weather. Like, I don't think I've ever been to Greece, so. Crete is lovely, saying Matthew. 960 likes. Oh, we got this, guys. Come on. Easy peasy. We easy claps. It's got them easy claps in the chat, aren't it? <laughs> Two E Dreamline are now rolling. Thanks for all the follows coming through as well, guys. Appreciate it. Yeah, so I think my summer holidays this year were maybe visited by uh, to uh, Crete because that looks so nice. I will say. Another merch order just pinging through as well, guys. Thank you very much for the merchandise orders coming through, ladies and gents. Merch order now pinging. Or <laughs> well, has anyone ever been to any of the other Greek islands they could particularly recommend? And following this is another Tui Dreamliner to Montego Bay. I uh, I don't want to jinx it, ladies and gents, but we seem to be getting all of our heavies out in one go here. <laughs> yeah, you know what that means, don't you? We haven't had the Middle East 3 yet. I wonder if the Etihad's going to be as late as it was last time. Yeah. Uh, but before that, we've got a Jet 2 to Gran Canaria, which is uh, 737 lining up on the runway. 21 years old, that aircraft. Go to Split. Oh, sorry. That's all right. Uh, um, someone just saying go to Split in Croatia. I've heard a few people saying they've been there, and also looks very nice there. That sort of, sort of whole part of the Mediterranean does look really beautiful because the the, the ocean there is just so clear and yeah. warm and nice. Mr. Aiden Thomas, number one top gifter in the channel, has entered the Twitch channel, ladies and gents. Hope you're doing well, mate. Nice to see you, pal. And Wayne, uh, 1984, thank you very much for your premium economy membership. Brand new VIP, ladies and gents. Let's get them VIPs in the emotes, for, uh, emotes in the chat for him. Bing bong to you. And Cami Hudson, bing bong as well, with a 17 months. Skiathos is amazing, and the spotter's dream, yeah. Ah, uh, yes, that is on the bucket list for sure. It's a bit quiet, Skiathos, as an airport, though, especially now. But, oh, yeah, that's on there. It wasn't uh, Mamma Mia filmed in Skiathos. Was it? Am I, <laughs> where, do I, where did I get that fact from? I don't know. You've been to Skiathos, haven't you? Yeah, I've been a few times. Yeah, it's uh, when I was a lot younger, but um, yeah, it was fantastic. The beach was really nice. We stayed in uh, like a villa complex, and that was that was cool. Um, yeah, it's a, a fantastic, fantastic location. And uh, Captain Gaming ninety four with your Twitch Prime. Thanks for using your Prime on the channel, dude. Let's get some bing bongs in the chat for Captain Gaming. Appreciate you, mate. And I can confirm we've hit 1,000 likes. Have we? Already. Well done, guys. Well done. Not even an hour live. Can we hit 2,000 before midday? <laughs> hey? This will never end this. <laughs> Can we do it? Yeah, a lot of people mentioning Corfu in the chat as well. And I've I seen a lot of spotters go there last year. 
because um, the views of that that airport is unreal. You know, yeah. you got a lot of good background, good weather, and unimpeded views of the of the runway. I was a big fan of me and Matt were talking about Lanzarote last night. I'm a, I was a big fan of there. Actually, one of my goals this year, ladies and gents, is to bring a live show from Lanzarote Airport because I think that'd be a lot of fun. Yeah, just something completely different, right? That's not where we're going to be on on this week, though. We're going to be doing a midweek show this week from a different airport. We'll be live on Tuesday this week and Wednesday. Hopefully, we'll let, we'll see what how it all plays out. And we've got a two G minor dash nine on the taxi out as well for Bridgetown. Quite a few aircraft on the way to Bridgetown. There's a lot of airlines serving Bridgetown here, isn't there? What's that, sorry? A lot of airlines serving Bridgetown. You've got like yeah. Virgin Atlantic, Aer Lingus as well, and Tui. Popular destination for those in the northwest of England. Look at that wing fluff, beautiful. Yeah, there is a live cam already at Lanzarote, so that's on YouTube. Uh, I've watched that a few times, it's quite cool. But obviously, you know, with Airliners Live, it'll be a completely different style of show and a different perspective and, you know, the usual yeah, loud sounds and close-up visuals, so I think that'd be awesome. Because the views you get at Lanzarote especially are awesome. You get so close to the action. Uh, Wayne, I, uh, I don't know what you mean, dude. It's an automatic focus, so check your quality settings, Wayne. Uh, so pinging up on the ground at the minute, as we say, we've got the Dash 9 Tui for Bridgetown. Um, there is a FedEx pinging, but I think that's just literally... Um, it's like either something's happening with it, something's having getting done on it, or it's getting moved. Um, but Paul 1990, brand new business class VIP. Thank you very much, dude. Very generous. Appreciate you, man. Welcome to the VIP club. Uh, Paul Rogers said, how do I become a member? Well, there you go. There's a link there. Click that Nightbot link, which says become uh, one of our fantastic VIPs. That's how you do it. Yeah, or you can hit the dollar symbol, then press join if that is there for you. And G13, thank you very much for your Twitch Prime subscription, putting us to a very nice rounded 180 uh, VIPs over on Twitch. Yeah. And Louise Sylvia Wood, thanks for your 79 pence super chat, bing bong. Yeah, Jane, uh, I agree. You know, you can sit on the rocks there at Lanzarote and watch them go over your head. It's a great experience because you've got the sun on your face, the beach is right there, you can hear the waves crashing, and you've got the the, the threshold of the runway literally not far away at all really cool experience and replacement raiding the channel with 80 few 82 viewers guys that is crazy big massive raid welcome raiders hope you're doing well some bald guy made us raid <laughs> this is spamming the chat crazy <laughs> welcome everyone hope you're doing well seen this aircraft on the last show didn't we Sorry, it's getting crowded here on the old box. Yep, Welcome everyone raiding the channel, hope you're doing well. 350 viewers now on Twitch, that's pretty pretty big for Twitch. Let's get some nice. pogs in the chat for that. Have you guys seen a new Iceland Air livery? Yes. Yes. Am I keen on it? No. <laughs> Is anyone keen on it? No. No. <laughs> In fact, yeah, go on. If any, has anyone in the chat like that new Iceland Air I mean, don't get me wrong, it looks... Wow, Aiden Thomas gifting... What? What's Aiden doing? What is Aiden doing? Whoa, 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 hold on, hold on, hold on. It's all popping off. Aiden Thomas has just gifted 20 subs. Wow. To the Twitch chat, ladies and gents. 20 subs. Let's get them pogs in the chat for Aiden gifting 20 brand new VIPs. Cheers, Aiden. That is crazy, man. Thank you very much. And this is an Air X Charter Mitsubishi Challenger 850. Well, it's got a Tui Dreamliner to Bridgetown on the taxi out. 787 9. Um, 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 
Aiden, let's spam those sub bomb emotes. That is crazy. Thanks for the huge support, mate. That's massive. Only and 200 uh, subscribers to go, by the way. To 35k on YouTube. Not far away at all, oh, guys. Oh, can we do it? I think we can. I'm feeling it. I'm feeling I it. I think we can do it by the end of today's show. Diego, welcome to you. Nice to see you, mate. And I reckon uh, some of the new Raiders have probably got some of those gifties as well. So if you've uh, just received a gifted sub off Aiden, make sure you say thank you in the chat. That's very kind, mate. Really appreciate the support, dude. Cheers, Aiden. He's getting further and further away from everyone on the top gifty count, isn't he? Yeah, my biggest problem with the Iceland Air livery, I don't think it's particularly ugly. No. It's just like a it's just downgrade. A, that's what I was just about to say. Literally, it feels like a bit of a downgrade. Yeah, it's like... I it's think that's what a lot of people aren't too happy about. Because like you say, it's not a bad livery. Yeah. And I quite like being able to, you know, catch the different coloured tails. Right. Because that's quite cool, isn't it? Because they've got all they've that's got true, different yeah. coloured tails. So you, you know, all oh, right, well, I've got the yellow one. I've got the, I need this one. Yeah. That's great. But it's... <laughs> You're going up against a Heckler Aurora livery, guys. Like, <laughs> come on, you know what I mean? It's a big, big downgrade. That did they paint over that Heckler Aurora livery for? It? They haven't. Done, well, they obviously haven't done it yet, have they? They've only been doing the maxes so far, I think. Mm, yeah. Um, and I'm assuming they're keeping all of the seven fives and seven sixes. No worries, Wayne. Glad you got it sorted, mate. Yeah, YouTube likes to do that sometimes. But yeah, it's, it's, and the text as well, like the font is a bit basic and everything's a bit like... Well, a lot of planes are going down that route, aren't they? They're going tail, tail, white body, text. Sex. You know what I mean? Yeah. And it's, yeah, it's like... But like I say, I mean, it's one of them things, right? It's... A livery is... Um, I mean, how much value is there in a livery to an airline? No, yeah, exactly. Like, yeah. there's obviously their identity, but in yeah. terms of a value, like, surely you just want to save as much money as possible on that. Mm, yeah. Because who cares? Do you know what I mean? When you board in the plane, you don't really see it. Yeah. Unless you, you, you walk into your plane. Plane spotters see it. You get pictures of it. I mean, but, I mean, apart from that, like, wh where's, where does that livery make you any money? Do you know what I mean? A friend of mine flew on Iceland Air 75 to Iceland uh, a couple of weeks ago. And uh, I said to her, I was like, you're on one of the special liveries, you know, it's the uh, the uh, 70 years or whatever, how many years it is, the, the retro looking one. Yeah. She was on that. And I said, you're on a special livery. You're like, I want to come down and see you, but I'm busy. And, you know, loads of people have been taking photos of your plane. And she replies with, what's a livery? Really? Well, that, that <laughs> says it all, really, doesn't it? <laughs> Robbie with a four pound super chat says, uh, keep up the good work, bing bong. Cheers, Robbie. Appreciate you, mate. What's a livery? <laughs> MSC is currently over Doncaster. Yeah, I mean, it's advertising, but I mean. It's not like a bus where you, you see it on the street all the time. Like, it's 35,000 feet in the air. Like, <laughs> and you I don't mean, see it. I mean, plane spotters do a lot of Plane it. spotters do see it, but other than us and you guys watching at home, like, you know, average, and, average Joe is not going to see it. And would you. And, and really, as from a passenger's point of view, would you pick. Say Iceland Air over EasyJet <laughs> just because of delivery and and yeah. from a passenger point of view, not a plane spot I was point say of view. I mean, I would from a plane spot's point of view, but not from a passenger. I don't think. <laughs> Imagine that. And here we go. This uh, two dash nine to Montego Bay. It's on the roll. I definitely pick an airline over another airline based on the plane, though. Yes. Like oh, but again, that's another plane spot's perspective, in it. Yeah. I guess. Lovely trails being left behind there from the 2G lineup. Jeez. Beautiful. Did you read out some bloke's donation? I have not. Some bloke who travels a lot with a five pound super chat. Virgin Airlines first A340 had, deliver had delivery. Mine's longer than yours. Did it? <laughs> I've not seen that actually. I like that. Should have that on the uh, the triple seven X when that comes out, you know. Yeah. I like it. Virgin Atlantic's another airline that actually does that whole basic livery quite well, I think, especially on mm. the three fifties and the Dreamliners. Chick City, thanks for your Twitch Prime sub, putting us to two hundred and one subs. Bing bong. I know I keep seeing that, Lee. It does that on my screen as well. It keeps dropping to one viewer. <laughs> does it? Yeah, but then you refresh it, it goes back up to um, over 2,000, it says. So it's obviously YouTube having a bit of an issue. 
KLM on the taxi out, uh, 737800 to Amsterdam. And that's uh, KLM1074. YouTube is acting up. I mean, we can give it a little a bit of a bit of leeway. It doesn't really ever have any catastrophic issues, does it, most of the time? Um, but Paul, welcome to you tuning in from Lake Forest, California. Nice to see you, Paul. We're going to have the smallest jet followed by the largest, really. <laughs> What's the smallest? There's a KLM there just uh, catching the sunlight as it taxis past. Yeah. Onto, uh, onto the taxiway down to 2 3 right. I don't think KLM will ever change their livery. I think I think theirs is too, yeah, too iconic, isn't it? Especially on the the bigger planes like the seven fours and the the Dreamliners. It just looks so and the the triples as well. It's just big and bold, isn't it? Yeah, big and bold. But what I was saying was, um, big and bold. <laughs> <laughs> what I was saying was uh, the Virgin. Uh, livery looks so good in the sun as well, like especially the 350s and Dreamliners. Mate, that that purple, yeah, purpley red, red, ready yeah. purple on the engines. Gosh, yeah, pops off. I've actually edited uh, a trip we made to the south side of the airport the other day uh, down to 4K, and I was going to upload it today, but I didn't know if there would be a, like a storm today, so I didn't know if I was going to edit that instead. Yeah, as more relevant, um, so I might get that done tomorrow. Uh, because tomorrow there's allegedly a return to this storm that we're going to get down and film a little bit Yeah, off. so we'll be out filming tomorrow, ladies and gents, um, catching the fantastic fa uh, pilot skills that will be on display. Um, we're expecting about 40 knot crosswind gusts tomorrow, <laughs> um, so we'll be keeping an eye on that. It'll definitely be noticeable. <laughs> But yeah. um, Virgin uses a, pe a special paint type, don't they? Says um, mm. guys over on Twitch. What is that paint type? I want to paint my kettle in my kitchen. That yes, Kev Chris <laughs> Bevan. Thanks for the five pound super chat. Being bong says morning, Martin and Andy. I hope uh, that you are both well. Yes, we are, mate. Thank you very much. Hope you are well as well. Cheers, Chris. When's the eighty eighty coming in? Uh, in about twenty minutes time, we think. We'll have a look on its current position, shall we? And yes, make sure you subscribe and make sure you hit that bell icon as well as uh, we will be live this week on an off-schedule day. We're looking at Tuesday morning. Uh, on Tuesday, it'll be around 11 a.m., I think, and then Wednesday, it'll be around 10 a.m., by the looks of how it's going. My mistake, guys. The Emirates is actually uh, just coming over the tops now and uh, be coming straight in, so it'll be in, in about five or ten minutes' time, ladies and gents, A380. And uh, the Etihad is uh, on time today. That uh, is sporting the Choose Singapore livery. Ooh. So we'll be seeing that one. Have I seen that one before? Yes, I have. Yeah. Um, and behind him, we've got a Ryanair. So it's a bit, a bit broken for arrivals, unfortunately, at the moment. Not much in the way coming in apart from these heavies. Obviously, the A380 being the star of the show as usual. Yep, it certainly is. And you can uh, represent the A380 by uh, having a look at a merch store and looking at the brand new movie-themed A380 t-shirt, The yeah. King. It's so good. It's so, so good, that design. It looks so cool. And that is available at shop.airlinerslive.com. Well worth it. Brand new design, brand new added to the store yesterday. Yeah, it's definitely <coughs> the best uh, original design from Airliners Live. Yeah. Uh, designed by our uh, good friend uh, Danny, who does fantastic work designing our merch. And uh, this one has a, a lovely theme to it, black and red, of course. Dramatic. And it looks cool as well. Yeah. And the Etihad's 13 minutes away as well. 
YouTube is having a mad time. The likes went from 1.1 up to 4k in 10. I don't know. Well, we've definitely not got 4,000 likes, so that's definitely wrong. Would have been running around the RVP screaming if that happened. Mate, imagine if we hit 4,000 likes. Mm. I don't. Uh, I think 3,000 is like our record, or just over 3,000. Yeah, tiny little jet. This. I'll tell you what. <laughs> I'd love to see this lined up with the 380. Yeah. Can you imagine? Two. Seen this a few times, haven't we, coming in? Yeah. Two lists on the registration there. Two lists. <laughs> 2 point nine thousand viewers, four point five thousand likes. Can you imagine? Quick maths. I mean, can you imagine if YouTube accidentally gave us four and a half thousand likes and it just popped the channel yeah. if everyone was in here? <laughs> Travis. Say so nice jet. Does it come in men's sizes? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, tiny in it. Listen, you won't be complaining if you're getting stuck around in that sunshine. Yeah. What's going on with your radar? Like? I don't know, man. Do I just take the I take the filters off no. personally. So many things. It's just difficult to find the approaches without, and oh, that's yeah. the problem. That's not even appearing on radar. We've got a Jet 2 A321. Currently um, getting onto the runway at the start of 2 3 right. Are you up? Was that you? KLM 737 now on the roll. Is G Liz on another holiday? I think she's back for a minute. <laughs> <In there. laughs> Although, by the sound of uh, the guy over there, I think uh, she won't be going anywhere this week. <laughs> yeah, I need to I need a message to Liz right now, actually. Are you all spin that around to you, son? I don't know if she's... Uh, she's definitely back from Iceland. She went to see uh, Landor the other day. You know the 747 that's been yeah. preserved? Um, I'm cold. Uh, yeah, A3, 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 and Jet 2 A321. I'm not sure what the reg is on this one. It's one of the new ones. We've seen the original celebrity depart earlier in the show. Um, it's not showing on radar this for some reason, so I don't even know where it's going. goes the gear. I'm going to assume it's going off to the Canaries. <laughs> Robert tuning in from Chicago. Nice to see you, Robert. Hope you're doing well, mate. And here we go. The King of the Skies is now visual. The King. Uh, the A380. Good to see the King making an appearance on a sunny morning at Manchester. Yeah, we departed seven and a half hours ago. Five year old aircraft, and uh, the reg on this one is Echo Uniform Charlie. I'll 
Put down my set. Put down my set. Where are you sure? Where are you sure? Uh, Jet 2 went to Tenerife South, Roger. Try to take them. That was a really smooth landing. Laurie saying cream cheese landing. Can <laughs> <laughs> you smoke salmon on that? Mm, wouldn't mind that. Tell you what, I had that for the first time in um, in Austin. Oh, yeah? With avocado as well. Oh. Oh, my gosh. What a combination that was. Plenty of love in the chat for the... 380, biggest passenger aircraft in the world. Five thousand likes. Oh, well done, guys. Cheers, everyone. <laughs> Smashing it. <laughs> I'll, I'll take that. In before it's legit. <laughs> Imagine if it was. No way. And we're just here, like. Uh, the main reason for this is most runways around the world are 45 meters wide. The distance between the two outer engines on the A380 is 51 metres. So potentially the outer engines would be overhanging the runways and therefore there's the uh, potential that the A engines could ingest uh, foreign object debris and dirty engines. So only the imminent two engines on the A380 would be... <laughs> Six and a half thousand likes. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks guys. Cheers everyone. 300 viewers. <laughs> <laughs> That's so funny. Seven thousand now. Come on, guys. Let's try and hit ten thousand before the plane taxis passed. <laughs> <laughs> what is going on? Eight thousand. Come on, guys. Smash the like button. I don't. I don't think this is legit, but it's like someone just enabled like a cheat code or something. Yeah. <laughs> Look at the chat go. <laughs> Have a drink of Coca-Cola while I wait. Are we, getting, are we getting botted? I don't know, because we're not getting the viewers that are going to hit the like button, so I don't understand it. We must be getting botted, I think, if that's even a thing on YouTube. I was just saying, but how can we get, be getting botted when the viewers aren't even there? Because you can get like bots that just attack your stream. All oh, right. <laughs> but also, YouTube's definitely having issues, because we, we had one viewer before. Ah, right, okay. So, there's definitely issues. Here we go, the Emirates A380 taxiing past. Manchester, the Emirates A380. What is going on, ladies and gents? That is hilarious. Well, <laughs> morning, Matthew Hayes. Nice to see you, mate. It's gonna take a while to beat this. Uh, Can we hit 10k likes before <laughs> Apple? <laughs> it's gonna take a while to hit. Some uh, bloke who travels a lot saying, Did you get my soup chat £3.80? I didn't. I did I think, not. I think the spam was getting so... I think it was getting spammed out by the like updates, dude. Let me check it, mate. I'm, I'm squ oh. There we go. The 380 Super Chat Bing Bong saying, well, it had to be. Thank you very much, man. Sorry we missed that. It I, was... Uh, I think yeah. the issue with donations that size is they don't get the little train thing. Yeah, I think anything below £5 doesn't show up on our little board. We have to just catch it in the chat. Yeah. I have to say, Airline is Live, the camera quality has improved so much... Looks fab, says uh, Louise. Thank you very much, Louise. Thank you, Louise. Yes, we are very proud of the camera. 
Uh, and the audio quality. The audio, audio quality on Airliners Live is next level. And the encoder as well that does all the all the work to bring you the stream. All right, to celebrate 10,000 likes, we got a... a <laughs> We're going to finish early. Thanks, guys. <laughs> See you next week. We got an Etihad 787 uh, Dreamliner, and this is rocking the Singapore special, uh, Choose Singapore, should I say, uh, livery there. So it'll be beautiful to see this. We've got a nice close zoom in of the special uh, decals on this plane. Oh, it's burnt my mouth on the tea. Oh, yeah. It's a bit hot, that still. You got a bit excited, were you? Oh, jeez. Get a Western to cool it down. Mate, can you imagine I'm just at the RVP and I start cracking away? I think that's the point <laughs> where you realise you've probably yeah. got a problem, son. Yeah. <laughs> Camera work. Oh, check. No, Nat's, uh, Nat's branding on the old uh, yeah. Jeep there. Ladies and gents, if you are enjoying this channel, a massive welcome to you. Thank you very much for choosing Airliners Live this morning, guys. Yeah, I don't know what's going on with YouTube, but I mean, the one viewer thing was a bit concerning, but 10,000 likes. I, I mean, mean, we'll take that book. Take that, yeah. Interesting, yeah. Beautiful dreamliner there. Let's have a look at that livery, shall we? Choose Singapore. Special. Trying to take the, uh, the stick there. Yeah. We've mm -hmm. also got the Air Lingus A330 lining up on 2-3 right at Manchester here. It's going to be again to Bridgetown. Who's off to Bridgetown? Oh, Everyone. We've, we've not hit 10,000 apparently, right? 9.8k. Is that it? <laughs> Is that it? <laughs> Is that it? Is that all you can do? Really, Laurie, that's your favourite one. It's really nice. Jen's favourite one is the Thailand, you know, with the uh, pink flowers. Uh, Japan. Uh, Japan one. is it, that yeah, one, sorry. Japan, yeah, yeah uh, that one with the pink flowers down the side. Lilies, isn't it? Yes. It is quite pretty, that one. Yeah. Uh, I mean, the China one's pretty cool, I'd say. Choose China, it's like the red. Yeah. Cheers, Glenn, saying great footage and commentary this morning. Thank you, mate. Yeah, it's still yeah I'm enjoying it this morning or something. Yeah, I, I like the earlier starts because there is a, a bit of traffic, you know, before half ten. Yeah. Especially on a Sunday. Uh, Michael Curtis with a £3.80 super chat. Uh, Mickey C from Twitch. Cheers, man. Or Mikey C. We'll just let this pass through the frame, ladies and gents, so you can see the full livery here on the Etihad. Yes, it is. There uh, it goes. It's pretty, though. I love the colours. It doesn't look too bad on the uh, on the Etihad colours. Wow! Look at that wings. You go saying the nicest liveries are the simplest one. Sometimes, yeah. That's your phone, right? Yeah, it is, yeah. It was done okay. before. Unless it's been like that and no one said anything. It's literally been there like watching a flip book for the last hour. <laughs> Powered by Microsoft PowerPoint presentation. Cheers, mate. So many ribbons today. I know, Laurie. It's beautiful. Usually don't get them when the sun's out. Just to do a deal. Turkish is pinging back up. For Istanbul. Lazy 21 Neo. Nice. Thanks for all the followers coming through on Twitch, guys. Really appreciate it. Don't forget to check them Twitch Primes. You might have one available, ladies and gents. 
and Matthew Hayes on YouTube with the super chat support this morning uh, with a five pound super chat. Thank you very much, Matthew. Really appreciate that, dude. Thank you, mate. William Jones saying he's not keen on the choose Manchester City livery. I was going to say quite the opposite there. I was going to say that's my favourite. I'm not a Manchester City fan by any stretch of the imagination. Apologies to those who might be uh, a bit upset by that. Uh, and I think that livery is beautiful. Just the mic, just putting the merch link in the chat there. Go on over, ladies and gents. Have a look at our brand new line of merchandise. We've got some new clothing designs. Uh, the A380 one especially is awesome. It's so good looking. So attractive. Can't wait to get mine. Uh, have a look at that. It's the A380, the King design. It looks like a movie theatre um, poster. Looks really cool. Or a movie poster, rather. Uh, have a look at that. We've also got the XL design over there as well. We've got some new mugs, including a special Valentine's Day mug that we designed. Courtesy of a, uh, a picture that Martin took from, from our hard in a couple of weeks ago. 9.9 thousand likes. Ladies and gents, can we hit 10,000 likes? Oh. Can we do it? Oh. <laughs> <laughs> this must be what, what LA flights feels like. You know, oh, just 10,000 today, is that it? Yeah. <laughs> We've only been live for 12 hours today. At one of the best airports on the planet for uh, spotting. Oh, yeah. I have a lot of respect for LA flights. Them guys are amazing. Yeah. I watch them very regularly. I usually have them on in lurk mode where I just don't talk in a chat. And we love working with them as well because they're very respectful towards us and we're very respectful towards them and happy to send viewers over to them. Yeah, fantastic LA flights. It shows what can be done when channels work together, ladies and gents. Yeah, oh my gosh, it's great. Like, imagine working together to, to improve things for everyone. And not clashing on every show. I know, imagine... Imagine if you found a day where another person streamed consistently and just moved your day to that. Could you imagine if you did that? <laughs> like, what a person you'd be, guys, if you did that. Pipe Train is close over on Twitch. Thank you very much for the support, guys. Really appreciate you dudes. Just as uh, Tricky Dicky goes in with a Twitch Prime sub, Bing Bong. Thank you very much for putting us to 202. <laughs> Got a Ryanair taxiing up there. Ryanair flight 55 Alpha Tango. And Ray, thank you very much for your Twitch Prime as well, dude. Bing bong. Yo, Twitch is going off today as well. Let's Do you reckon if we switch to Saturdays, then the schedule would go back to Saturdays again? <laughs> yeah, I think it I'm would. I'm just wondering. Just, well, we, just, yesterday just would have been an entertaining stream, but we don't stream Saturdays because usually that's when other streamers stream. So we stick to Sundays. Yesterday would have been an entertaining stream, right? But you know how it is. <laughs> I bet you any money, chat. If we started streaming on Saturdays, the other streamer would start streaming on Saturdays as well. Yeah. What was if we did both? Do you reckon he'd start doing? Oh, sorry. They would start doing both. <laughs> <laughs> yes, uh, give so me strength. This Ryanair is off to Gdansk in Poland. Sue Lockwood. Hello. A lot of this commentary, yeah. Yeah, it's just. But yeah, you know, what, you know how it is. It I'm, is what it is, guys. It's just, it's just, it's, it's so brain dead. Like, <laughs> it's, I'm not. I, you just have to say it how it is. It's literally brain dead. Like, I know, guys. Let's share all of the YouTube recommendations instead of getting them all to myself. Split, if split I just them. streamed on my own day. Yeah. I'm sure you all know what what we're talking about. I mean, you know, we could be talking about anything. We could be talking about G Crow for all you guys know. Like, it's just stupid. Like, YouTube works on recommendations. I will be honest with you guys. I would say about 60-70% of our viewers on a regular live show are brand new viewers that have come here from recommendations. Yep. So, why would you then clash with another major channel and basically lose out on potentially 2,000 recommendations during your live stream? It just makes no sense, right? Yeah. Surely you'd just stick to your own day, <laughs> have all of the viewers yourself, <laughs> and then both channels would do well, do you know what I mean? It's almost like there's a reason. Uh, Avia Sal, yeah, do they still stream over in uh, Portugal? I've not watched them guys for a while. I think they stream usually at Lisbon, right? 
But yeah, we're, we're friendly, we're open to work with other people, obviously. There's a lot of respect between us and a lot of the streamers out there, especially. Uh, yeah, it's just a shame when we do work with people and we stand up for people, I think, is the, the biggest thing that we've done right. for this other stream, is we actually stood up for them. We took a lot of flack for it, I'll be honest, a lot of personal attacks for it, directed at me and Mrs. Airliners Live, a lot of personal attacks, and uh, the thanks we get is they now clash with every show that we do. So, there you That's go. how it is. That's how the world works. So, ladies and gents, Ryanair on the roll to Gdansk, 737-800. That's a four-year-old aircraft. The world is full of pure... Pork sex. pies. Uh, pork pies. Oh, pork pies? You got you, any? I didn't, know. Sorry, mate. Damn it. I've seen Darren uh, over at Aviation in Action. He's been streaming a little bit recently as well. He dabbled with uh, East Mids. I think it was last week. Yeah. I think it was Wednesday, I'm going to say. Uh, Jackson Britton, thank you very much for your £2 super chat. Bing bong. Apparently we've hit 10k likes. Is that it? Crazy. <laughs> and another Ryan... Uh, just to let you know guys that is totally broken i don't know why we've got 10k likes we definitely shouldn't have 10k likes no um i think youtube's broken but thank you very much <laughs> like i said the, the the viewer count dropped down to one for a while and then all of a sudden we had four thousand likes so i thought it was just a visual glitch but then it continued to increase maybe it'll drop back down again who knows it's all a mystery Cheers, Mikey. Glad you're enjoying it, mate. We're having a great show today, though. Plenty of movements here at Manchester Airport. And uh, I've really enjoyed the earlier start today. Yeah, I think starting at 10 is probably good, right, for us, yeah. I think. It's weird, because on Friday, the, 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 from 10 till half 10, it wasn't very busy. But today, yeah. it was really busy. So I think on Sunday, for sure, 10 a.m. starts. Makes sense. Maybe a later one on Friday, maybe. Molly, thank you very much for your premium economy membership. Brand new VIP, Bing Bong. Yo, welcome, Molly. Hope you enjoy that extra leg room. Right, right, right. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> Only joined for the brain dead comment, says Molly. <laughs> yeah, maybe I shouldn't have said that, but it's definitely not the... Uh, well, you were talking about the situation, right? Yeah, yeah. It's, it's definitely not the <laughs> smartest thing to be doing if you understood how the algorithm works. And maybe that's why they're doing it, because they probably don't understand how it works. Yeah, dude. Not everyone knows everything. Apart from me. Joking. <laughs> I'm joking, guys. <laughs> oh. Anyway, can someone type exclamation mark positive in the chat and shut me up, please? Or get banned by Loopy. I have to ban myself in a minute for being spicy. You know what, I'm pretty warm, you know. I was thinking that. Yeah, I've not had like my gloves on all day. Yeah. I'm not stressing. This is a nice temperature today. It's lovely. Fuzzing. It's weird because it's definitely not, like, that warm. And, uh, Jerry Nordman, thank you very much for the 737 Super Chat Bing oh. Bong. So it's a great show again, guys. Thank you so much. Appreciate that. Yeah, wow, you guys are really enjoying the show today. Sorry, Laurie. I will exclamation mark positive. <laughs> <laughs> I like that command. Yeah. If there's any other commands you need, mods, we need, uh, let me know. Jeez, that guy's flight level 100 already. <laughs> Is Elon Musk on board? <laughs> um, we still need the ATC command. Yes, we do need the ATC command. You're right, yeah. Uh, I don't know what else though, I don't know if there's any other, I mean, if, yeah, like, like I said, if the mods want any new commands making, you're more than welcome to let us know. If it's some information that you keep repeating yourself on, yeah. then uh, I guess uh, maybe Loopy should get one for uh, hitting the like button or something. <laughs> yeah, so mods, it's um, very easy for me to add commands to that list, so if there's something that you have to type out manually all of the time, um, then drop me a DM and I'll get it added for you. It takes me a few seconds, it doesn't take very long at all. Yeah, and Molly, a massive welcome to the community as well, uh, Molly. I hope you, uh, I hope you join for 
more than just my uh, <laughs> my comments there, but I uh, hope you're enjoying the show as well. Thanks very much. Yeah, he doesn't normally say stuff like that. <laughs> right, we have a look on radar, shall we? What we got? We got um, a couple of aircraft pinging on the ground. Some of them are inbounds. Uh, obviously, the Rhino that just came in. Turkish on the way out. Easy jet. Um, easy easy jet. I wonder why that's over there. Uh, to Belfast, uh, Aer Lingus uh, is on the wiggle, but he seems to have been on the wiggle for a while. What is that doing? It's probably just bugged out. It's, it's probably got it looks brought like from his to his stand or something. I don't know. Yeah, we also have a FedEx 75 pinging up, but I don't think that's going to be going out during the show. Uh, Hugo, YouTube's broken, mate, at the moment. That's why. <laughs> uh, that's why that's happening. Yeah, people walking in like, what is going on? Are you guys LA Flights all of a sudden? Yeah. Are, are you Noel Phillips all of a sudden? Paul Garrett, thanks for the five New Zealand dollar donation. Say hi guys from Paul and Blade in Lake Taupo, New Zealand. Welcome Paul. Glad you're enjoying the stream, mate. Thank you very much for the super chat, dude. That's a good one, Matt. Yeah, we'll we'll do that. A quality setting one. You know, when people say like the quality looks bad and just a command to say make sure you hit the They've already got that, I think. That's oh. already a thing. Okay. Uh, cheers, Adam. Glad you're enjoying the stream, dude. Lee Walker, thank you very much for the five pound super chat. Bing bong says, uh, "Great show as ever, lads. Get some chips on me." Thank you very much, Lee. Oh yeah, we didn't get chips last time, did we? No, we didn't. We did not. We were a bit. A bit I mean, we were in a bit of a rush when we finished. To be honest, it was a busy day Friday. There wasn't. We got home. We were editing. We had the meeting as well about project. V after it was like really Project V is is very very exciting. Very real now as well. It's, it's I wonder how quick that'll take to clash over there as well. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Whoops, might have given a little clue there, guys. Apologies. Yep. Do you ship to Switzerland? Yes, Martin. Just send us a message. Um, send us a message to either contact at airlineslive.com or through our Facebook page, and we will. Uh, get you a price for shipping and yeah. get that sorted for you. And the website as well, airlineslive.com, has a contact form on there if you want to just get yeah, in that's touch. Yeah, e that's easier actually. Yeah. It's just a lot easier. Rather than like messaging, like, because people, people have a bad habit of messaging me directly and I'm going to be honest guys, it's nothing personal, 99% of the time, unless it's someone I actually know in real life, they'll go in the bin. <laughs> yeah. It's nothing personal, you know, I love you guys. Uh, especially the people I see regularly in the chat, but it's just because I can't have them on my personal because then we're going to have like messages all over. Like, they all need to be in one place basically, so we can. Yeah, me and Martin. It's not always Andy that picks up the messages, or it's not always me that picks up the messages, and sometimes Andy will reply first and then I'll reply second. All the messages uh, just need to go through the airliners live inbox, guys, just to keep things nice and yep. straightforward, and just it, so that we can provide you a better service as people well. People like hunt me down or you down on on Instagram or Facebook. And you know, I, uh, especially on Instagram, I appreciate the follows and the engagement, but you know, things like my personal Facebook or my personal yeah. email, it's like, what are you doing? Uh, Sarah, welcome to business class, Bing Bong, brand new VIP. Thank you very much for that. Huge welcome to you. Thank you very much for your support. Is it Project Virgin? No. No. Well, well it could be. No one is. Uh, <laughs> no one's guessed it so far. Laurie M, thank you very much for the twenty-five dollar. Super chat, Bing Bong, saying a lovely banter and snark today. Thank you for making me laugh so hard. We all need more laughter in our lives. The community is so wonderful. Hugs from Texas. Thank you very much, Laurie. Thank you, Laurie. Really appreciate that. You're a legend, Laurie. Appreciate you so much. I need to send you... Uh... Oh, no, I've got a, a friend over in Texas who... Uh... I was telling about the little package I gave you, Laurie. Um, and a friend of mine over in Texas as well, who I seen while I was there. Uh, was asking the same thing, asking for one. I was like, oh, God, I've got to send them one now. <laughs> so I'm going to send a lot of British things like, uh, what did I put in? It was like tea, chocolates, biscuits. Um, I can't remember what else now. Uh, a Henry Westons as well. Project V is for five days a week shows. No, Greg. No. But. No. No, I'm, not, I'm just going to say no. Easy, Jet. On the way out. Um, big hello to Airlines Life on this nice sunny Sunday, says Paul Murphy. Thank you, mate. Nice to see you, dude. And it Louise, thanks for another 79 pence super chat, bing bong. It'd be hard to clash with us if we were doing five days a week, though, wouldn't it? Yeah, I suppose it would. <laughs> up, up your game. 
I mean, I think people would get very bored of airliners live very quickly yeah, if we were live another five easy days jet. Each. Another Ryanair. I think people would still watch, though. I think people would watch, but I think even from a presenter point of view, guys, it would be... Yeah, it'd get very monotonous. There's only so many foods I can talk about, right? Yeah. Laurie, what did you think of the Henry Weston, by the way? Oh, did you give her Henry Weston? Yes. Of course. Mate. Of course. You're only allowed to take one uh, litre, I think it is, of uh, alcohol across that border. So oh, I was, right. I was wise in picking which alcohol. Okay. I think it's one litre or one, whatever. I, I, I worked it out. One something. <laughs> I haven't had a Henry Weston for a, a few days now. Uh, Jacob, no, all we ask is that you message us uh, through the page, mate, instead of our personal accounts, that's all. But is cider particularly big in, in the States? I didn't, because when I was in the shops over there, I didn't see many ciders at all. It was all beers and liquor, you know, liqueurs or whatever, and spirits. Ciders, is it like a really British thing? I know it's like big in the UK, in Ireland as well, obviously. Um, maybe in parts of Europe. But uh, I didn't see many ciders when I was over there. Not as many as you see over here. We have a huge selection of ciders. This flight easy uh, 141. Uh, it's a short flight today, just to Belfast. Uh, Six-year-old A320. I suppose the problem with getting a, a parcel from another country of their food and drink is if you like it, you're a bit devastated, aren't you? Because you're like, mm. oh, well, I like that. And now it's all gone. Well, Spotting TV, we're not going to tell you because that's why we've given it a code name, mate. Because uh -huh. if we tell you, someone else will copy it. <laughs> <laughs> Project Volcano. Yeah. That'd be pretty exciting. Andy Boardman, thanks for the £5 super chat saying, Andy and Martin, get yourselves a brew, fellas. Was going to leave you one in the cafe last week, but it was busy. No worries, Andy. Thank you very much for the support, dude. Cheers, dude. Really appreciate it, man. We have lots of ciders. You just looked in the wrong shops. Okay. Well, there you go. I'll take that as an answer. I think these these need to go. I'm looking down a lot today. A lot more than usual. Yeah. Because my neck's getting stiff. You know what it is? When you're down on the ground, it looks like it's really high up. Yeah. And then when you go up here, it's really low down. It's mad how you can tell when something's changed in the setup because... <laughs> Like, my neck is just like, whoa, and I'm like, why is your neck like that? It must be the easier lower. And there goes the gear. On the easy jet. All the gear, no idea. That's it. Alright, what's going on here at Manchester? Manchester. Uh, nothing on approach at the moment. However, there is an easy jet inbound from Geneva in the holiday delivery, uh, which is just about to enter the base like now. Followed by British Airways shuttle service from London Heathrow. It's an A320 Neo. Steffi tuning in from the Netherlands. Welcome to you. Thank you very much for supporting the channel. I'm glad you're enjoying it. When you come back, we'll go sh side a shot. Ah, does it sound for very? Does it stand for very secret? Yes, I guess it does in that sense. There you go. That is the that is the answer for now. That's all you're gonna get. I mean, to be honest, I think Volanta integration into airline is live. No, unfortunately not. But that'd be pretty crazy, wouldn't it? Yeah, Laurie, if you want to get into talks about doing that, then I'm down. But um, I think <laughs> I think to be honest, in the next few weeks. It's right. going to become quite obvious what the project is. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, even even as soon as like, yeah, like the next few weeks, just like you said. Yeah. Not long at all. Not long to find out what it is, but the long-term goal of the project. I mean, to be honest, I kind of just want to go for it. Yeah. Peter Walsh with a five-pound super chat, being bong says, uh, "Did you get them pies on Friday, lads, or did you get a bomb in the end?" Well, we actually, I'll be honest, guys, we bailed completely on the cafe on Friday. Yeah. Um, because I think we just wanted to get home and get cracking with the merch and everything like that. Yeah, we had a lot to do. It was the problem. We had loads to get on with and we just said, oh, should we give it a miss today and just get home? And we literally went home from the live stream, got home and went straight on the PCs and, and started working again. 
Um, so Andrew Hallworth, thanks for the 10. Super chat. Bing Bong says, Cracking show, guys. Highlight of the weekend. Get a brew and some chips. Another quality stream. Thank you, dude. Really appreciate that. Project Valentine's Day. Mm. Mm. Not a bad, uh, not a bad idea. Part, part oh, no. of my, uh, oh, no. part of my mind is just full send it. Oh, oh that's a shame. Oh, no. Yeah, I, uh, I kind of just want to go like full send it, man. Like in yeah, two yeah, or three yeah, weeks' yeah. time, just punch it, just go whatever. Punch it, Chewy. Boom! Here you go. There it is. Well, let's let's see. Let's see, shall we? Your website isn't working. Oh dear, that doesn't sound good. Can anyone? Can a mod check that? Mod yeah. check. Mod check. Airlineslive.com. Have we broke it again? <laughs> when was it? When we were selling the uh, the runway tags, wasn't it? When we oh, did yeah, the we sale, the website, and yeah. we had a bunch of runway tags. After well, let's just like clear these out. Let's just do them for a really cheap price. Get them all out. Uh, did a live show with about two or three thousand people watching, and uh, everyone went on the website at once and completely destroyed it. So thank you guys. <laughs> Big Engine Club, what have you done, son? So, so it's kicking off elsewhere. Not my fault. <laughs> <laughs> um, and also another secret project, which is coming Tuesday and Wednesday. Uh, we're going to be live this week, Tuesday, Wednesday, from another airport. We've not told you where it is in the world yet. Yep. But uh, it is somewhere we've not streamed from before. And it's somewhere one of the clues you had was you need to get a plane to get there. Work. I'm sure that isolates it quite easily. Website's working fine, says Matt Smith. So follow the link that Matt Smith is putting in the chat, guys. Follow that link and that will take you to the website. Cheers for looking, mods. Appreciate that. Very quick. But yeah, because the website broke so easily last time, it was a, a stark reminder that we just, or a stark uh, wake up call that we just needed to rebuild the website basically we? yeah. from scratch. It's a whole new. Uh, I mean, to be fair, we were running, worried about the cost of it, but it's definitely paid for itself. Yeah, yeah, we paid quite a bit extra, didn't we, for the uh, a new, more stable, quicker, more user friendly platform. Uh, and it's, yeah, it's it's definitely worth it. It's, it's not, not been money wasted at all. Heathrow, we've been to Heathrow before, live. Project Vegas. <laughs> <laughs> nope, not quite, Ryan. Not quite, my dude. <laughs> yeah, all that supporter money. It's <laughs> <laughs> a lot of slot machines, right? I've heard Vegas is really good. I've never <laughs> been there personally, but everyone I know who's been there just says it's the best thing ever. Yeah. Wouldn't mind going. But in the next week or so, guys, um, we will start to put trailers together uh, things together for the announcement of this so you do not have to wait long to find out a bit more about Project V um, we would like to go full send it into Project V ladies and gents and if you would like to help us with that I know we haven't really give you any information about it but trust me it will be worth it ladies and gents then the way to do that is to click the dollar symbol then click super chat yesterday this may give you a little bit more of a hint we invested uh, close to a thousand pound into Project V, um, but it will be worth it. It's not and it's uh, well, well worth it, ladies and gents. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. It's it's going to be a very entertaining venture for you guys. It's like a long term thing that's going to be permanent on the channel. Yeah, um, something that you guys will definitely enjoy. And as you say, we we do reinvest back into the channel, ladies and gents, as we always have done since day one on Airliners Live. Not scared to do it. Officer R, oh, that's the wrong letter, but Project Kathmandu. Oh, there you go. <laughs> He's got it. <laughs> Why not? Eh? You know what we never did as well? Project T as well. Like, that needs to be revisited at some point. It does. I'm, I'm, it's, it's constantly, I, I think about it like every few weeks. Right. And I'm just waiting for, I think I just want to wait until COVID's completely done with. And then Project T will be a thing straight away. Yeah, that was another big teaser that we had going. And we got so close to it happening. And uh, it was very sensitive to uh, the restrictions and things. So as soon as the restrictions came in back in like March 2020 or something, yeah, um, we had to abandon that project. But we had all the plans for it. We, we knew what we were doing. We had all the clearance. We I don't know if we had a date. Maybe we might have. 
but it was all ready to go and that was a huge really cool project that we were really proud to be a part of it i think uh, yeah. i think the mods would like our attention mr brown bill oh yeah 35,000 subscribers has just been hey. reached on the channel. Woo. Let's get them celebrations in the chat, ladies and gents. 35,000. Project Van, says Kevin. Now, that's a really good shout, Kevin, but it is not that, I promise you. Although, on Airliners Live, we, we have discussed before about getting, like, a little camper van. Um, that would be like a, a dream for us, but no, Project V is not that. There's nowhere to put a van here at the uh, at Manchester, really. Like you can get a perfect spots without one. So yeah, but uh, I guess other airports make sense. Thank you guys for the thirty-five thousand subscribers. Thank you. Woo! He's Jet Holidays. Are we going to get a wave here? A wave for 35k? My guess is Lanzarote. That doesn't begin with a V. No, you meant for the, the midweek, I think. Oh, okay. Sorry. <laughs> Lanzarote. Lanzarote. It has more potential. Behind the scones, it does in terms of viewer numbers, but not many people in the Just Jatting community like planes. What I'm tempted hey. to do is now we've got a decent amount of viewers in, I may <laughs> change the category now so that we're further up the list. And let's just let's just do a little test, guys. Um, we got a wave from the captain on board the Jet Two. Sorry, Easy Jets holidays. A320. Let's try shifting over now into the Just Chatting category. But I'll be honest, guys, if it brings on a load of negativity, then we're just going to stick to stick to where we are. There we go. 35k subs. Crazy, crazy. And, That's uh, crazy. Karen Matthias saying greetings from Berlin to Manchester. Super performance. We will say no more, ladies and gents. Another aircraft on approach. Manchester, uh, London to Manchester shuttle service. And uh, did you see, any of you guys see the um, update from, uh, the update from VATSIM, which is being released today, actually? Is they're actually going from updating the aircraft position every four seconds to upgrading aircraft positions four times a second now. Nice. Um, which means the aircraft that you'll see on the uh, network will be moving a lot more slowly, uh, a lot more smoothly. Uh, so that's going to be a massive, uh, massive improvement for Vatsim, 100%. Project Vlog. Hey, we've already started that. That's already a thing, that. We might try and do a vlog on Monday, or tomorrow rather. Uh, we will see how much time we have, I think is the main. Yeah, I think the only thing with vlogging tomorrow is going to be really high wind is, is not going to make an audio yeah. very nice. I Yeah, that might be an issue. Project VR, no it's not VR. Oh, imagine that. Imagine if we somehow made like some 3D VR experience, that'd be pretty crazy, wouldn't it? I'd be down. Uh, Twitch, if you can keep us up to date on viewers as well, um, what we're at now, and uh, see if we see any um, major improvement now we've switched to just chatting category. Looking nice and clean, this aircraft. I do love the British Airways livery. <laughs> Big engine club, it's definitely not that, mate. <laughs> it's not Project Viagra. <laughs> no, we are not bringing out an airliner's branded Viagra. <laughs> Gonna say something uh, quite inappropriate there. Yeah. <laughs> Currently 328. Cheers, Killer Knight. <laughs> but I, I have thought of the best name for it. <laughs> for <laughs> Project Viagra. Okay. Just call it V1. Swine TV, stop spamming the chat with your own advertisements, dude. 
Chill. Advertise on your social media, please. British Airways A320 Neo. Inbound from London Heathrow. Visuals overlay time, nope. Dave with a £10 super chat, Bing Bong says, Many congratulations on the 35k, really well deserved. Thank you very much, dude. Really appreciate the super chat, thank you. <laughs> and uh, Jane's a brand new subscriber to the channel, loving it. Awesome, welcome, Jane, to you. Big Edge Club knows. Yeah, <laughs> he's rumbled us. We've also got the Tap um, Express on a taxi out back to Lisbon. Flight 1311. Great shot there of the two aircraft taxiing. One in, one out. That's what we want to see. Need to change the battery after this uh, departs as well. Tiago Red tuning in from Portugal. Welcome to you. Good, good lord, Kevin. <laughs> right, can we keep a PG chart? Come on. Project very mega bong. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's the next. That's the next emote, isn't it? Yeah. Very mega bong. Robert tuning in from Chicago. Welcome to you. Yeah. So there is the mega bong, which is the purple donations. But then I was in LA flight stream and some crazy donation came through. I, I think it was like 300 quid. Was it red? And was it, it was red. Yeah, I've seen them before. I think Mate, I have never seen the red. Like, what I colors do they have? Like, I think we've. Oh, no, no, we haven't. What goes after red? I don't know. Just multicolored, I guess. Like, just like a rainbow. Just a rainbow. <laughs> All the colors. <laughs> Claire Smith tuning in from Doncaster. Welcome. I suppose if someone donated a grand, they'd probably find out. You know? Millipede, it's nice to see you. Hope you're doing well. Yo, Millipede, how's it going? Mark Taylor with a £10 super chat bing bong saying keep up the good work, boys. Cheers, Mark. Glad you're enjoying the stream, dude. And uh, Thea Love tuning in, signing up for business class. Brand new VIP bing bong. Thank you very much for the support. You know, we let you guys spam. Only one time, and that's the uh, Bing Bong amount when someone donates, so feel free to do that. In fact, I'm going to change the battery now, ladies and gents, because uh, I've got 2% battery. <laughs> so bear with, I'm going to grab a battery out of my pocket. So we're going to catch the departure of this TAP uh, Portugal. I don't know where the Qatar is. Can anyone check on, on radar where the Qatar is right now? The 777. You've booked a private jet to fly us over to Vegas. No, I'm afraid that is not. I think that would cost a lot more than a grand. <laughs> Project Van, Big Engine Club. No, nope, it is not Van. It is not Van, although that's a very good guess. But no, it's not Project Van. Right, I'm going to change the battery now, ladies and gents. So stick around. Just Stand bear, by. Bear with for a couple of moments as I do that. Curiosity. Tell you what, my neck today, I don't know why. Your it's neck? Like looking down is really hurting me neck today. You just sit down for a bit. Oh. Spooky, thank you very much for the 179 Super Chat Bing Bong. Appreciate the support. Project Volvo. Nope. No. Pretty Listen, solid. You will find out in a couple of weeks, ladies and gents. You will find out in a couple of weeks' time. Not long to wait now. They're pretty solid Volvos, aren't they? My dad had one of them, you know, the XC90s, the big, yeah. big SUV things, 4x4s. And uh, Thea, thank you very much for your support as well. She's just saying thanks for the warm welcome, everyone. Appreciate that. Glad you're enjoying the content enough to uh, become a VIP. Looks like things are looking up then, Martin. Is that because of Project Viagra, is it? <laughs> Tap Air Portugal on the way back to Lisbon. Yeah. 
But yes, on Airliners Live, we never stand still, ladies and gents. We're always making improvements, always trying to make the channel better, more appealing, and uh, higher quality as well. And uh, we think you're going to be extremely excited with what we've got to uh, offer, ladies and gents, in the very near future. Paul, thank you very much for the 179 Super Chat Bing Bong says, uh, great show as usual. Thank you, mate. Cheers, Paul. Triple Seven is out over Belgium. Okay. And if you're tuning in on Twitch, don't forget to get involved in the chat, guys. We do like to see a nice, busy chat over on Twitch. Um, we are just building the community over there. We've been streaming on there for a couple of months now. Um, so let's start to see some regular names in there. The chat moving nice and fast, some discussions going on. Um, let's try and build as, uh, a nice, big community over on Twitch, guys. You can see the airport pub there just in the background. Loads of scaffolding on it. I think they're doing a lot of work to the roof at the moment, but also mainly they're doing uh, work to the conservatory area. I think they're expanding it, is what I can see, based on the social medias. Um, so that will be reopening soon. I'd love to get down and see the changes they're making. Felix, thanks for subscribing from Australia. Welcome, dude. And Tony P. Gamer. With a five gifted subs oh over on Twitch, gift into the community. Thank you very much, Tony, for your support, dude. If you just got a uh, subscription off Tony, guys, make sure you say thank you. Going from 1080p to 4K. That is something we can do, but... It, it's we can do it, but we wouldn't be able to achieve the bitrate, I don't yeah, think. The bitrate wouldn't improve, so it wouldn't really look any different, to be honest. It would be better for you guys to have 1080p at a higher bitrate yeah. than 4K at a lower bitrate, guys. Yeah. I mean, it'd be quite easy to just whack 4K in the title and, yeah, but he's in 4K. Yeah. You know, but if you know anything, ladies and gentlemen, about video, that is not the first step. Trust me. Yeah. Might get more views, though. <laughs> Turkish Airlines A321neo on the taxi out here. And uh, Turkish... A321 Neo on the taxi out. You're Parrot. What? <laughs> I just said the same Did thing. Did you just say that? Yeah. I completely zoned out, man. Sorry. It's funny. <laughs> in your own... Well, you're in the, in the chat reading. We can probably get some overheads today as well, ladies and gents. Um, I've not seen many, though. I've had my eye out. Um, but there's, like, patches of blue sky here and there. And you know when we have a bit of blue sky, it's uh, a bit of a treat here at Manchester. Oh, here he is, Mr. Cyanide. I got a bot. I, I want you to stop racing, Sunshine, and get this plane released. How about that? Yeah. Every what? time I come in your, I got, every time I come in your stream, you're racing, you're shooting, you're doing it. <laughs> get cold in, Cyanide. Stop messing about. There's people like me who are looking forward to opening support tickets and winding you up because we don't know how to use your plane properly. And every time I see Martin, he's got his credit card in his hand and he's here like, I'm just waiting I'm for I'm just the... waiting for Cyanide to <laughs> drop it. <laughs> Literally. <laughs> I, I've not put it in my pocket since the first time you, you announced this plane. So you what. I'll be giving me money to uh, Captain Sim at this rate. Yeah. <laughs> you wish, Captain Sim. <laughs> Living it large with a 449 super chat bing bong saying towards some brews. Thank you, mate. Thank Appreciate you, dude. That. My uh, my model is nicely situated in my office now, dude. So I appreciate that. I know, guys. What we're going to do is we're going to reskin the 747 and we're going to sell it as a triple seven. Yeah. <laughs> Who's done that? Captain Sim. <laughs> Genius. Hope you're doing well, uh, mate. Nice to see you in the chat. Qatar is now over the English Channel. Awesome. I'm going to see a 777 soon. And obviously this Turkish A321 rocking our favourite engines on the Neos. The Pratt & Whitney option. Really tired, but really good. I hope that's because you've been coding all night. That's the only excuse you've got for being tired, Sunshine. And we have a shortbread tin inbound as well, apparently. Oh, do we? We all know what airline that is, don't we? 
and it's not. No worries, sign. I speak too shortly, mate. Love that guy. I love watching his stream when he's racing and he's mate. He's got a proper racing setup, you know. Has he? Yeah. Better than ours. Yeah. <laughs> Better than Fez's. Um, I don't know to be honest because John's got a pretty mint setup. He has. He doesn't use it, man. He should be streaming. I've that. never seen him use it before. Because he was buzzing about setting that up. He's too busy avoiding his flight sim schedule. That's what he's doing. Mirafoka, yeah, that's him. Yeah, the Soviet Womble. Those Soviet Womble armor videos are so funny. Right. Did you ever see those? No. There's a guy called Soviet Womble on armor, and he basically plays armor. And it's like dead funny, like, right. like a sketch kind of. Right. And cyanide's on it. Nice. Uh, pinging up on the ground, we've also got Ryanair, uh, which is bound for London, Derek. Um, and the Turkish uh, for Istanbul is just uh, passing Juliet 1. Oh, nice, Ian. Bet you got a great view, mate. And there's an announcement actually about Pennington Flash, Andy. They're um, they're building like a new cafe. Ooh, that's uh, a good nice idea. big cafe there with some brand new toilet blocks and everything. Uh, so Pennington Flash is going to be getting an upgrade. Should be finished by the end of the summer. That's great. Kind of makes sense, doesn't it? Because they got so much like foot traffic there. Oh yeah. Like I only have like what like a food stand, like a. They have like the hot dog stands and stuff, don't they? But. Yeah. Yeah, I think having its own dedicated cafe will be will be great. Where they give you the most onions you've ever seen in your oh, life on a hot gosh, dog. They really do. Well, you want more onions? Got the whole onion. I'm, I'm all right. Can I have more sausage with my with my onion, please? <laughs> <laughs> if you are enjoying the channel, guys, don't forget to give it a big thumbs up and a subscribe if you're new. Welcome to Airliners Live. Where is this plane on? On radar. I don't know what's going on today. There's a lot of things going a bit west, isn't there? It's a strange day today, isn't it? Hmm. Thank you so much for 35,000 subscribers and loads of merch orders today as well. We're going to have a, a real fun time going through them. Yeah, it's gotten a bit crazy, isn't it? Yeah. I appreciate it though, ladies and gents. Yeah, it really does help us out a lot, guys. Thanks very much. Certainly helps us with these improvements that we're planning. What was the name on that jet? Oh, Johnny's jet. Okay, we seen that last time, didn't we? Turkish A321neo rolling now back to Istanbul. I think this will be the last show of January for us on Airliners Live, so the year seems to be off to a good start. All the shows this month have been really good. Yeah, it certainly has. There's been some huge uh, turnouts and big shows, memorable moments. It's probably the best start to a a year that I could have imagined, to be honest, in terms of YouTube and uh, Twitch as well, especially. Mr. Cash, welcome on Twitch. And we'll be getting February off to a flying start, quite literally. We certainly will. Quite literally, actually. Obviously, the 1st of February will be live from another location, as will we be on the 2nd. So that's the Tuesday and Wednesday coming up. Then we'll be live on Friday back here at Manchester Airport. Then Saturday, we'll be situated at the memorabilia fair here at the Runway Visitor Park. Open to everyone of the public. It's free entry. You just pay for parking here at the Runway Visitor Park. Come on down and meet the team. Me and Martin will be there. Um, I don't know if the mods will be there. I'm sure they, they, they'll want to make an effort to come down if, they, if they're available. Yeah. Uh, let us know, actually. Matt, if you're in the chat, if you want to come down, or any other mods in the chat, if you're able to come down, let us know. Uh, we'll be there all day. 
uh, it's from about what, like 10 a.m. till about 3 p.m. I think that the fair. Uh, we'll have a stand set up at the memorabilia fair. So come on over, meet the team, uh, support the channel, and buy some merchandise fresh from the stand, and um, also uh, meet the rest of the community and visit all the other stands as well because there's going to be some awesome stands there. Great people, great uh, items that you can buy as well, all aviation related and. You're at the runway visitor park, so yeah, all the usual shenanigans of you know seeing the aviation, seeing Concord, seeing the, uh, the various aircrafts they have here. Go to the, sh the cafe, get some chips, uh, and go to the the RVP uh, aviation shop as well. All that Will, good stuff. Nice to see you on Twitch, Will. Appreciate you in speaks. Cheers, dude. Appreciate the offer, mate. Uh, has yeah, so it's like a meet and greet, uh, and we're going to be selling some merch and uh, advertising the channel. Ryanair's on the uh, taxi out now, and we've got one Ryanair inbound as well from Berlin, uh, just about to touch down on two, three rights. And the memorabilia fair is on uh, the 5th and 6th, but Airliners Live will be there on the 5th. Yes. So don't come down on the Sunday looking for us, guys. We are only going to be there on the 5th. Has our Premier car moved this year? Probably not. Probably not. Luke, so will you drop me a message about that dude just on my Facebook? Because that's something that comes up every week and we never fix it. The link in the description of the YouTube feed is the wrong link for the oh, shop. Yeah. Yes. Apologies for that, ladies and gents. Can we have a mod dunk tank like America's Girls? <laughs> <laughs> Uh, we can't include ATC radio, I'm afraid, because uh, it's not legal in the UK. Where's the ATC command? <laughs> Another thing we need to do. I think we've got an ATC command. Do we? Yeah. Uh, yeah, the 5th of Feb, yeah. So, Saturday coming. Yep. Yeah, yeah. You but know if you are new to the channel, guys, say hello in the chat. Introduce yourself if you're watching on YouTube or Twitch. We've got a fantastic community here on the channel, and you'll get a massive warm welcome from everyone in the uh, in the stream. Uh, we will be taking card payments on Saturday. Yeah. Yeah, we we have a card machine ready, so don't worry yep. about bringing cash, guys. We will have a card machine ready. We bought a card machine specifically for it. Yep. For your guys' convenience. Although, bring cash with you anyway, because obviously a lot of the other stands won't be taking card. So, buy yourself uh, some rare or unique memorabilia while you're here from some of the other stands. Cammy, thank you very much for your Twitch Prime sub, Bing Bong. Puts us to 209 subscribers. Hey. Thank you very much. Back above the 200 mark. And also, ladies and gents, just, uh, just a, a, a polite reminder. If you do see us on Saturday or any time at the RVP or wherever you see us, if you could introduce yourself as well, because a lot of the time we don't know who you are. Like, obviously... We know you from the chat, but obviously we might not know the face. So uh, don't assume that we're going to know you personally. Because a lot of people come up to us and just start conversations. Like, hey, how's it going? Yeah, you know, whatever. And sometimes we're like, hang on, who are you? Yeah. <laughs> It'd be good to know what your name is in the community so we can give you a massive shout out, guys. Yes. Because <laughs> it could be someone from the chat who we talk to every stream and... You know, we wouldn't know. Yeah, we don't know. So Pegasus yeah. touching down from Istanbul. And Mr. Tech tuning in from Montreal. Welcome to you. 
You're welcome. Like it's A320 Neo just touching down here. 2 3 right in Manchester from Istanbul. Fly picks. Uh, side note says Cyanide, if I wanted to get in touch with you with a beta key for the new aircraft I'm developing, what is the best way to do so? Um, the best way to do that, mate, is contact at airlinerslive.com, is the email address. That's contact at airlinerslive.com. Yes. <laughs> Finding him right on now. <laughs> Got him. He's gonna stop coming in this channel soon. I've had enough of these guys. A320 Neo. The fly at Pegasus.com. Keep a lookout for me a little later today then. Roger Dodger, I will do. And there's a 757 on the ILS. Nice. Cheers, Kian. Nice to see you, Kian, as well, mate. Blasting out of Manchester there. That was Ryanair flight 8492 Londonderry in Northern Ireland. Derry, Londonderry. Cyanide, I am spam refreshing my inbox. <laughs> <laughs> oh god. Yeah, so apparently um, a lot of the transits are going over South Island at the minute. Um, so that's why we're not seeing a huge amount of overheads today. Right. Yeah, I could just see one over there, but it's probably too far at this point to see. There it is. Cucumber, it just means you're watching very high quality streams, mate. Yeah, a little bit too far to get a good view of that one. And uh, DJ uh, Makazana is uh, first time on the channel from Glasgow. Make Dizana? I don't know. I don't know how to say it. I'm sorry, dude. I'm you sure there's like a really cool way of saying it. I'm over 30 now, mate. You're going to have to give me an instruction manual. If you are enjoying the stream, guys, like I say, don't forget to introduce yourself. Um, very proud of the uh, community on Airliners Live and we're all very welcoming as well. So don't be shy, say hello, become a regular at the channel. We stream every Friday and Sunday on Airliners Live, 10.30 a.m. or well, between 10 and 10.30 a.m. is our usual start time. And uh, we also produce a lot of uh, high quality 4K aviation content as well, which, uh, which we love doing. Yes, which I was editing a lot uh, yesterday and Friday evening. Um, so there is a clip ready to go, but I just want to see what happens tomorrow. See if we want to get that out of the way first, and then I'll upload that. We got some uh, awesome uh, arrival and departure footage from uh, Thursday. Just got all in beautiful 4K, including the uh, the Red Devils uh, Brussels special. Caught that. As well as plenty of other awesome aircraft in the beautiful sunlight as well. Really happy with the quality of the 4K pre-recorded stuff on the channel at the moment. Sue Major, hello, welcome to the stream. When is the next VFR tour saying Welshy? Oh, I know, I know, I know, I know. This week is so busy, man. Um... I'll be honest, it's not going to be this week. We are mad, mad busy this week. Um, yeah. 
with the extra shows and things that are going on. Um, it's probably not going to be till the week after, dude, I'll be honest. I try and do VFR tours when I can, but they are usually sort of put on the back burner when we've got other things that are, um, need doing, I'm afraid. Yeah. Big Engine Club saying uh, proper cheeky here at Airliners Live too. And it's by... What, you mean we're cheeky or you're cheeky? And it's by far the best, highest quality streams and audio in the UK. The lads are pretty okay too. Real humans with a bit of decorum. Not too much though. Just a bit. I like being called a real human. Yeah, <laughs> it's nice, isn't it? I don't know. We try to be nice and respectful and very uh, grateful for the community and the opportunities that we have, you know, so... Yeah, we don't take it for granted, guys. Not in the slightest. Try our best. How crazy the world is these days, you know what I mean? Email sent. <sighs> oh, I'm excited. Yeah. It's probably, all the email, <laughs> the subject is going to be stop talking about this plane, it'll be out when it's out. Yeah. Here's a 75 on the uh, on the approach, Jet 2757 inbound from Geneva, and this aircraft is 33 years old. Almost as old as you. Yeah, listen, mate. <laughs> Beautiful old bird, the 757 in a dot com livery. Also in the sunshine here at the at the uh, at Manchester Airport, should I say? Did you send it to the contact email address, dude? Oh yeah, there it is. That's Martin gone. He's going to be leaving early today, by the looks of it. Okay, dude. Okay, dude. Listen, I'm here. Why ask? Why ask? You know what I mean? Jeez. Wait, John. Hold on. Never mind. <laughs> One hundred percent I'm here, so I think we got a wave there as well. Beautiful aircraft, seven five seven. I love it in that livery as well. Love it. Apologies for the flaky camera work that I was actually waving at the time of trying to zoom in and track the pilot. Did you? No worries, mate. Appreciate you, man. Yeah, speak soon. Have a good lunch as well. Chris Bevan with a five pound super chat bing bong says, You guys are the best and really friendly as well. I look forward to seeing you both again sometime. Legend. Cheers, mate. Thanks for the support. Yeah, dude. It was so nice hanging with you, dude, because. Uh, <laughs> yeah, see you there. <laughs> it's so nice hanging with you because. Um, well. The, the problem with the, the the VIP meetup was everyone was there and it was like I couldn't spend a lot of time with everyone because there were so many different people. So, it, listen, mate, it'd be good to uh, to see you again soon uh, at the next event and hopefully we'll have a little bit more time to chat and hang out and stuff. And because that, that VIP event was so much fun, it, it, and also the weather was nice. Uh, everyone showed up and it was like the mound was just booming with airliners live VIPs. It was like crowded. It was great. Uh, we went and had some chips and stuff as well and had a nice chat. So we'll definitely do another one of them in the coming months. When it gets a little bit warmer, I think, Yeah, will be the, the goal there, just because we want to have nice weather for it. No pot pies today, guys. No, unfortunately not today. I know. Uh, what a shame. Chris oh, really? Luby, thanks for the £5 super chat. Bing bong. Really appreciate that. No way, Matt. Look what uh, he's put in the mod chat. What's When's that for? Tomorrow. Yo! Nice one, Matt. Nice spot. Thank you, Matt. Just showing us in the mod chat that tomorrow 
we're going to be seeing an Iceland Air 737 Max. But not any 737 Max. It's a, It's got the, the brand new livery on it. Like, literally just painted. The, the oh-so-controversial livery. So uh, we'll be filming here at tomorrow, so we'll catch that. I'm sure we'll get a little clip of it as well. Yeah, we will. One of the airfield ops vehicles there, doing the rounds. No, you cannot, Jake. <laughs> EasyJet inbound now from uh, Alicante. Guitars over Corby, Roger Dodger. You don't have a U USB C cable, do you? Do I have one? Yeah. Yeah? Oh, do you? Like a spare one? As in to charge your phone now? Yeah. Yeah? Oh, nice one. Okay. That's happy days. We are always prepared, my man. Ready to plug I, straight I'm in. I'm clearly not. Oh, it's actually plugged in already, isn't of it? Course. Well, what, what, of course. I've got, mate, this is my bag, yeah? You, everything's in. It's ready to yeah. go. Click, click, clack, clack. That's high level of preparation right there. You He's got a mean? USB C cable in his bag that's already plugged into a power bank. Exactly. And We're airliners live. We're professionals. We don't leave cables at home. Another merch order just coming through as well. Thank you so much. Loads of merch orders today, ladies and gents. So thank you. I hope you guys are as excited as we are to get your hands on the brand new merch. Obviously, the mugs are in stock now. Yes, and uh, the boxes to ship them in arrived late last night. So we'll be shipping those. And Alpha wants a massive shout out to daughter Erica. Ah. A big welcome to Erica, who loves the channel watching the planes. Erica, I hope you're enjoying today's show. Thank you for watching. Cheers, Erica. And uh, Deluff tuning in from uh, USA. Nice to see you, dude. Welcome. What's the registration on this? Tango Yankee, I think it is. Thank you. Uh, a look. Yep, it is. The grateful easy jet. of the A320 there, the easy jet. Nice, Wayne. Uh, Sue Lawson, 100%. Yep, they'll be available to purchase uh, at the stand. Yeah, dude. Will the caps be available by then? Will they be? A, a well, I said to him, uh, yeah, I mean, we need them by Friday. Okay. So, yeah, there's a possibility that we'll have the brand new Airliners Live caps as well yep. uh, at the stand. We're going to have to wear, like, two caps at once. <laughs> the TAS cap and the Airliners <laughs> Live cap so we don't miss out. Yeah. yeah, as much as I love this cap, it would be nice to have a different one. For a while, we've had our eyes on getting some Airliners Live caps. Just finding a supplier for it is a bit tricky. We found a new supplier... That seems to have a, a lot of promise to it. So, um, yeah, it's given us a lot of potential to go down some new avenues of merch. Yeah, looking forward to it. I, I will be, I'll be. Quick sprinkle. Stand okay. by, guys. Right, have a look on radar right now. Let's see if there's anything happening in the world of aviation here at Manchester Airport. Hope you're all enjoying the show today, though. The Sunday show, you know, Airliners Live is the place to tune in on your Sunday mornings slash early afternoons. 
It's the one aviation channel you need to know at this time of the week. We do have a Ryanair Flight 3205, uh, 737-800 from Rome. That is on the final approach into Manchester. So we'll be seeing that soon. I'm Michael Hiscock. Welcome to Business Class, dude. Thank you so much for your membership. Hope you enjoy that. Very extensive, very much extended leg room, lie flat bed, free glass of fizz and all that, you know. <laughs> so we'll be seeing that soon. Of course we will. We get some bing bongs in the chat for our newest VIP, Michael. Maybe for the meetup we can have VIP badges in the future. Yo, Sue, that's such a good idea. I love that. Yes. Represent, right? It's just a way to show off, right? Because I love the VIP uh, logo that we have on the channel. Obviously, we've embedded that into a mug now, which uh, will be available very soon for you guys. Uh, the Airliners Live exclusive VIP mug design. Only available to them paying supporters of Airliners Live. I also, I've always would love, it, it'd be way too hard to administrate, but imagine like a, a piece of merch, obviously there'd be a lot of issues with like shipping and stuff, that you got for free after you'd been a member for like a year or something. Like maybe something to do with like the red t uh, tail badge or something. Or alternatively, I suppose we could do one where it's like, you just pay for shipping maybe, and it's free basically. Maybe like a mug with like a red tail on it or something. That wouldn't be too bad, right? Because uh, it'd be a, a nice way to say thank you to you guys for supporting because you guys are the, uh, the the guys who really run the channel, right? Like without you guys, it wouldn't be an airliner's life. <laughs> it certainly wouldn't be a mere Martin being able to be full-time. That is for sure. Here's a Ryanair from Rome, 737. Max saying greetings from Germany. Yo, welcome to Manchester Airport. Thank you for tuning in. I hope you can understand our weird accents. A lot of people when I was in the States thought I was from Scotland. And yo, actually quite a few thought I was from Germany, which I don't understand, but hey. Maybe my accent's that strange to uh, compare to the British accent, right? Airline is live on Dragon's Den. Oh my gosh, that needs to happen, right? I love Dragon's Den. I, I binge watch that show so much. <laughs> Hello, Dragons. I'm Andy, and this is Martin. We're offering 10% uh, of Airline is live for uh, 20 quid. <laughs> and a special shout out on the show as well. <laughs> Your, your donation. Imagine that. Just one day, Peter Jones is one of the co-presenters. Roger, Dodgers. Yo, yo, yo. There we go. That was quick. Yeah. Did you wash your hands? I certainly did. <laughs> The sun is out here in Manchester. It is pretty chilly, but it doesn't feel it at all. No, it's really nice today. Welcome, Natty, tuning in from Bridlington. Loving the stream. It's Ryanair inbound from Rome. Do you see the new member? Yeah, I read it out. Yeah. You did? Welcome, Michael. Thanks for the support. That would be TV worth, worth watching. I don't, I don't watch TV at all. Like, ever. So... You guys know on the channel, I'm a bit of a Judge Judy fan, right? <laughs> okay. And they've just released this new Judge Judy on um, Amazon Fire Stick, IMBD TV or whatever it's called. Ah, okay. And it's called Judy Justice, right? And it's no way near as good like, as the old one. Like off that, doesn't it? It is no way Judy near as good as the old one.
I don't even watch anything. I just watch Dragon's Den on YouTube and that's it. Yeah. That's like it. And LA flights. Yeah. Yeah, an airline is like travel mug isn't a bad, bad idea either. That's something we've wanted for a long time. It's just hard to find a good quality one, man. Yeah. Because well, I don't want one of these rubbish ones where you're drinking it and the top falls off. Yeah. You want a good quality one, but the problem is to get a good quality one and sell it at a reasonable price, you have to buy like hundreds of them. Yeah. And we're not going to sell them, guys, I'll be honest. Maybe if we do go on Dragon's Den, get an investor on board. <laughs> Just become a, a mug dealer, basically. Yeah. <laughs> Judge Rinder. Have you ever seen that, Judge Rinder? Yeah, I'm not a fan. Jen, I think Jen likes it. Yeah, I'm not a, I'm not a fan. All this daytime TV nonsense. Yeah. If you're new to the channel, ladies and gents, say hello, get involved. About 2,000 of you in the uh, YouTube chat at the moment. Let us know on Twitch how many viewers we got in there as well. Okay, um, I want um, like Duncan Bannatine to come back on Dragons. Then he was my favourite. Yeah. Him or Theo, you know. Theo Pathetis. Yeah, they were they were really they were like god tier Dragons then too. He came back on Theo for a, like a season or a few episodes, and he just like. Aged like really badly. He's Has just he? like he just looks old. His his voice is gone. He's really like low energy all of a sudden. It's like what's happened to him, man? It's weird, isn't it? What's happened to him? He used to be like super high energy and on it, and you know, funny, and he's just like a. It's like it's almost like his dad's on or something now. Yeah, it's just someone else. Great to see the new mugs too. Yeah, the mugs are looking pretty good. I'm really happy with them. The print on them is really nice quality is good they've got a red interior as well as like a red handle as well so they really stand out and we have three different designs of mugs available two for the general public and one special one for the VIPs the best aviation community in the world I would uh, I would agree with that 334 viewers on Twitch that's really big for Twitch guys yeah Uh, we still on for getting airliners live hats. Yes, Tom, they've already been ordered and we're hoping, hoping to receive them before the memorabilia fair so we can sell some down at the fair, dude. Yes. Yeah, Deborah Meaden's like really good. Yeah, she's probably like the uh, the sharpest one, I think, of all. Yeah. Like she just gets it the quickest usually. It's probably a reason why she's been on for the longest. Yeah. I think she was on from the start, I think. I think she was like one of the first ones. Yeah, possibly Millipede, but it's worth a test. Worth a test today. I think, um, to be honest, that's a high number even for the flight sim category, to be honest. Usually we're around sort of 250, something like that. Yeah. Can we have a... Matt saying, can we have a command for the BMW? That's not yeah. a bad idea. Callum M, nice to see you, mate. Or just a Premier command in general. Yo, actually, Big Engine Club. I was going to say this. I, I, I'm actually a fan of the new dragon. What? I don't even know his name. I forgot. But yo, he's pretty cool. I like him. He's he's quite a uh, level-headed. He's mm -hmm. he's pretty. He's pretty he seems pretty nice as well. Like he's good. Gives a lot of uh, good uh, constructive criticism. Helps people out as well. Like, and he he seems savage with uh, undercutting the other dragons as well. Is it? Yeah, he's pretty savage. His first ever deal was like the others were often like twenty percent, and he just went in with ten percent and just, just got the deal. And got the deal. Yeah, just dived in there. God. Yeah, for those who I, I know in America they have their own version, don't they? It's called Shark Tank, I think it's called. All oh, right. Their own dragons then, which it's a bit more well Americanized, I guess. <laughs> it's like, there's also an Irish one as well, Dragons Den Island, which is nowhere near as good. I will say. Apologies. Apologies if that's your favourite one. Clayton Robinson, nice to see you. 
more cars than planes at the moment. <laughs> Where's the lie there, Loopy? Where is the lie? <laughs> Ops vehicles live. Qatar's next in, apparently. Roger. Yes. It is a nice day, though. Michael O'Leary has dragged yo. He would be pretty, pretty on it, wouldn't he? Mm -hmm. He wouldn't mess around. He's like. You want to use a lift? That's fifty quid extra. <laughs> <laughs> they have some snacks on the table they can take and they've got to pay for don't it. Don't touch them. Five of each. Mm. Bacon baguettes, don't touch it. <laughs> <laughs> yes, there's the Qatar. It's on the base leg at the moment. On the approach into Manchester. It's a Qatar triple seven. 300 ER. Registration Bravo Echo o um, Oscar. That's from Doha, Qatar flight 27. Got pretty quiet here. We did, uh, you did uh, say, you know, with a really busy start, it's probably likely that all the movements just gone in one go. But we still have a few more movements, including the Emirates A380 due out in about 20 minutes time, uh, or about half an hour, but usually it runs a little bit late as well on top of that. I'll take 99% of your business for 33 euro. That is, that he'd probably made that offer every single time until he finally gets it, you know. But I'm not going to lie, like, he seems like a, a pretty hard to work with guy, Michael O'Leary, but you can't, you can't deny his, his, his business and his uh, ability to negotiate is pretty, uh, pretty sharp. Um, so I guess if he was on your team, I think good things would happen. But I don't think he'd uh, take lightly for uh, any errors and things like that, you know. <laughs> Just seeing if I can see the Qatar on, on the base. Like, sometimes you can see it in the sky. But also it's a grey plane on a bit of a grey background over there, so... Mozzie saying Qatar is turning on to final. Oh, Wayne, that's the worst, being dragged around the shops. <laughs> oh, that is the worst. Especially when you've got things to do or, you know, things to be watching. It just seems to take for an eternity, doesn't it? Going down every single aisle. Oh, have a look down here, see if there's any deals. Yeah, big engine club. Maybe we need a, uh, a command for that as well. It's Manchester. I mean, you know, my time in the States, obviously got to see um, the airports over there. And it's like no lie that the airports in the States right now are still at like insanely high levels of, of, of traffic. You know, I think they're even at pre-pandemic levels of traffic. Most of them uh, even higher. Sorry. You know, where's the lie, right? And obviously, because you know the, the restrictions haven't really affected their travel as much as ours here at Manchester, though um, pre-pandemic we were at like 600 movements a day. Now we're barely reaching 300 uh, on a good day. Mm. So I mean, it feels even less than that to be honest. You could you seen at the start of the show uh, when we had like multiple aircraft lining up for the runway. That is a taster of what it used to be at Manchester, but most of the time it was like that. Whereas we would never have these huge gaps in traffic like we do now we also had a lot more diversity in airlines as well we had a lot more uh, of the long haul flyers american uh, operators as well uh, asian and middle eastern you know yeah uh, you see all sorts of crazy airlines uh, on a day at manchester you know it wouldn't be unusual to see something unique every time bob bell checking in from ohio welcome to you mate nice to see you in the chat Qatar is uh, on the ILS now, but he's uh, a little way out, probably about seven or eight miles, seven and a half miles. Yep. So obviously Manchester got pretty damn uh, hit hard with the pandemic. And yeah, it really did. Especially in 2020. Oh my gosh, you'd come here in like uh, the summer of 2020 or, you know, the spring. You'd be here for about, let's say, eight hours spotting 
Yeah. And you see about seven planes. I think you guys who are new to this channel will be amazed when Manchester's at its best because it's just non-stop, guys. Yep. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, and I can't wait. I, it's been two years now, and I feel like we're dragging the channel through the pandemic, and we're, I just really want them to just pick up and crack on now. Yeah, it's crazy how the channel's done well through it, you know? Like, I know. I can't imagine what it's going to be like when, uh, when it picks back up. It'll certainly make our lives a lot easier with regards to... Uh, Having not having to talk as much. Here's a big bird inbound now, the Qatar Triple Seven Three Hundred ER on its way in from Doha. If you would like to support the channel, ladies and gents, there are a couple of ways to do so. Probably the best way to give you a massive shout out is to click the dollar symbol, then click super chats. You get a massive shout out from myself and Andy. You can also click the dollar symbol, then click join to become a VIP. Um, of the channel and get access to all of the channel emotes and the tower badge next yeah. to your name. You guys want know what to do on Twitch with the gifty subs and the Twitch primes, ladies and gents. Show your support to the channel and get a massive shout out from us guys here. Thanks very much for all the support that's come through today as well, guys. Really do appreciate it. Yeah, and loads of merch sales today, like absolutely loads. Yeah. I'm glad you guys are loving the new merchandise. And also, when you sign up to be a VIP on YouTube, have a look at the different tiers, because some of them might benefit you. Like, you can get discounts on merch. You can get um, a bunch of different benefits, basically, at different tiers. So, have a read through them. The wind is picking up here a little bit at Manchester now. Yeah. We do have a storm inbound, which is going to hit us later this evening uh, and through the night and early tomorrow morning. So, sadly, a lot of it will happen during the, the, ni the night time. Uh, so, we can't film it. But we will be th popping down tomorrow morning to film some clips of the arrivals and departures of Certainly will in the wind. So it'll be make for some entertaining content, I think. Tony Parkinson with the first super chat going in with the 777. Here she comes. Thank you very much, Tony. Hey. Appreciate you, mate. Bigfoot is arriving. The triple F, as we like to call her. <laughs> Thanks for all the follows as well, guys. Really appreciate it. Cheers, Craig. Pointing out the Aer Lingus is also on a taxi out as well for New York. Nice. Oh, stopping really quick. Oh, are well, we going to get head on triple here, guys? We, we, are. we, we are. Here we, we are. go. Well, let's get some 10 out of 10s in the chat for this. Yes. Let's spam that 10 out of 10 emote, guys. Head on triple seven. Have a listen. It's going to be naughty. Something special, guys. Seeing it vacate there. Yeah, that's quite rare to see that. Love to see it. Great sound. 
Doesn't get better than that on airliners live, ladies and gents. She's posing for pictures. Maybe she was. Love to see it though. The Qatar triple seven. And I love that Qatar is flying the triple seven into Manchester now because it means we get a bit of variety. Great stuff. The Middle East three each flying different planes. Where's that Aer Lingus? There it is. A321 Neo off to JFK. Flight uh, Ryanair, sorry, Ryanair. Aer Lingus UK, flight 45. Ken G, thanks for the $5 super chat, Bing Bong. Really enjoy your relax, soothing stream. There you go. Bit of ASMR. Next out, A321 LR. get pretty chilly over in New York, doesn't it? Mm. And some bloke who travels a lot, thank you very much for your very generous £10 super chat. Bing Bong says, I was lucky enough to fly Qatar Biz Class twice in January, but no Q suite, unfortunately. A330 and top deck A380. Nice. Awesome, man. That sounds great. So what's the situation with them? Is it Q suite is like the highest tier, is it? And then you've got a... Uh, it's first class separate to that? Or is it um, business and then Q suite is like the only other options? And... Um, Jeth, uh, Jeth is saying, is a single aisle plane comfortable for a transatlantic flight? Mr. Brownbill, over to you. So, I didn't really do a trip report of this because it wasn't as interesting as you thought, but I actually did fly JetBlue A321neo transatlantic London Gatwick to JFK. It was, I'm going to tell you guys, fine. Perfectly fine. The aircraft I flew was quite a new aircraft, just one year old. Um, I don't know how many Jet Two, sorry, how many Jet Blue A three twenty one Neos there are. Uh, long range versions, that is, that fly transatlantic. Honestly, guys, fine. It was fine. It didn't feel that small. And once you're in your kind of own little area, you know, I was only in economy. Um, once you're in, in your own little area, you got your TV, you got your, you know, your tray table. You kind of just forget what kind of plane you're on, you know. It's mm, just you're in your yeah. own little world. Jet Blue, I will say, ten out of ten. Awesome airline, great service, great food. Um, everything was done through the uh, the tablet, which uh, on the back of the you know the the, the seats back, um, and uh, you'd order your food on there. You'd create your own meal. So when you'd sit down before the plane takes off, you go in there, and you design the meal that you want. So you pick the starter, the main, what sources you want, what sides, Mega. what drink. And then when you're uh, cruising, they bring it over to you. So That's really it was good. it was honestly I, it was so cool. Like the uh, you know proper 2022 uh, experience there. Uh, great lighting as well. Oh, loved it. Amazing. There you go. And on the pushback is the Virgin Atlantic A330 uh, bound for Islamabad uh, VS362. Uh, she's pushing back, so we'll see that depart very shortly. What's on her approach right now? Looks like a... BA. Uh, a BA. Embraer from Chambry. Huh. BA flight 4512. Never seen this before. Departed about an hour and 40 minutes ago. What's going on in Chambry right now? Like, I'm seeing so many <laughs> flights there. Isn't that anything... Is it anything to do with skiing as well, or...? Are people just... Is it... I don't know. I have no idea. Is it south of France? Is it hot there now? I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> Well, it's near the Alps, right? I think so. Do so you think it'd be a, a skiing destination? But yeah, so that seems to be like somewhat of a future in a way. Transatlantic on an A321 Neo. Mm -hmm. You're seeing uh, uh, Aer Lingus doing it here at Manchester, for example. JetBlue as well. I'm sure there's other airlines doing it. Um, oh, well, uh, 
Air Transat as well, does it, out of Manchester? Yeah, Shanvi is a ski and valley town vision thing. Yeah, I thought it was a ski location. Right. Tripod is a uh, Manfrotto fluid head tripod. Yeah. Quite an expensive one as well. Just You pay for what you get with tripods, unfortunately. It's not the thing that you want to spend the money on, but you kind of have to. <laughs> if you want smooth footage. Yeah. Oh, could do it getting a service or something. like. Hmm. It's getting a bit uh, stiff. That mate. No, I mean, I mean, like you know, you know, spinning that for example is like, yeah, is it, it's got loads of resistance to it now. The actual fluid of it is fine. Skiing with airliners live, no Imagine. thanks, no thanks. I've done skiing. I mean, I'd never know. It's quite good. The, the thing is with skiing is you just don't want to go outside of your comfort zone. That's the thing. It's when you start doing silly stuff that it's dangerous, I think. So, well, for me, it's it's um, not the skiing. It's the holiday. Oh, I, right. I never go on a cold holiday. I don't know. Just to me, that just doesn't sound right. I must admit, though, man, like... I'd rather go to a warm place. Would you not want to be somewhere for Christmas that's, like, snowy? Like, that would be pretty I guess, good. Yeah, that is quite cool. But I'd, I'd rather pick like Lanzarote or something. <laughs> <laughs> I'd rather be on a beach. Mark Burgess, thanks very much for the five pound soup chat. Bing bong says, great show as always. I missed it earlier. Are you doing extra streams this week? Yes, we are. Um, keep an eye on our page, but we think it's going to be Tuesday from an undisclosed location at the moment. Erlingus in the rugby team livery about to touch down from Dublin. Oh, yeah. So we'll see this in some nice sunshine. Get your camera. <laughs> <laughs> British Airways Embraer, really rare to see these at Manchester. You know more than me. <laughs> My mate here uh, next to me, grabbing some pictures. Quite a few pinging up on the ground now. Yeah, I think I've seen a virgin as the pink There is, yeah. That's for Islamabad. Cool livery. Yeah, it looks smart, doesn't it? Yeah. Got a bit of a bit for the trailer, you know what I mean? Oh, yeah. Great. Yeah, it's quite nice. Then Salmon Roll with a 4.99 Super Chat Bing Bong. So sorry no donation this week because we just got hit from a huge snowstorm. We have 16 inches in my area. Wow, dude. That's a huge amount of snow. Thank you very much for uh, supporting the channel. I really do appreciate you, mate. Hope you uh, it doesn't cause you too much disruption. Sorry no donation. As you donate. As, as you donate. <laughs> Thank you very much, dude. And like I said, I hope, hope it doesn't cause you too much inconvenience, all that snow. Cheers. Yeah. 
British Airways uh, just about to line up. Uh, he's gone all the way down to Juliet 1, uh, back to uh, London Heathrow. That's the A320 Neo, which we'll be seeing shortly. Yeah. Indeed. Just waiting for something. What could it be waiting for? Does Manchester ever have reverse runway operations? Yeah. Yeah, quite. Uh, every now and again. It's not as regular as a 2323 is obviously the preferred, but yeah, I'd say it's semi semi regular. Yeah. Peter Hampson was saying it's about 20% of the time they're on is zero it? fives. Yeah. Right, okay. Sometimes you get long periods of time where they're not on them. Like at the moment, we've, I've not seen them on zero fives for a long time now. I don't think I've even seen them this year on zero fives. But then they'll go like a whole week on just zero fives. So, and here at the Runway Visitor Park, it's great seeing them there because uh, it's a completely different feel. You know, you get them touching down right ahead of you. You get them taxiing past on the way out. Yeah, it's quite cool. Saw the blizzard in the New York area yesterday on Hampton's ferry stream. Really coming down, was it? Yeah. Yeah, Owen, we've seen that man. We've seen that mate. Ryanair rolling. Oh, sorry, I didn't even know. I didn't even know it was on the runway. Yeah, I didn't. To Berlin. Nope, Virgin's on the taxi out, Lego. Okay, so we have an aircraft on approach, so I think the British Airways will wait for that to uh, get out the way. To Jet 2. Um, it's holding for that Jet 2. Yeah, Jet 2 737, yep. Flight 836. Uh, we also got uh, the uh, the bis the sorry shortbread tin on the taxi out as well. Nice. And yay or nay in the chat guys. Um, so me and Mrs. Airliners Live usually go for holiday um, in the UK and we've been wanting to get back to Scotland for a while and um, we've just booked a week in the Highlands uh, at the end of May up near Glencoe. Let me know yay or nay in the chat if you would like to see a little bit of a vlog for that trip um, that may be of interest to some of you with some really nice scenery um, and may potentially take a drone up there as well. Um, let me know guys if it's something of interest. It won't be aviation related, um, but it should hopefully be some nice scenery. So we start a GoFundMe for your new drone? Oh yeah. <laughs> Them things can be expensive. Yeah, they can, yeah. I must admit, I didn't realise they were as expensive as they were, to be honest, but... Yeah. To be honest, it's one of those things I could probably buy it, do the trip and then sell it straight after yeah, and not lose too much money on it. You're not really going to use it again. I've still got my drone, but mine's pretty dated now. Like, yeah. Uh, Akib Farouk, thank you very much for the 179 super chat. Bing bong says I'm back again. Didn't manage to come on last week. No worries, Akib. Great to see you, mate. Yes, me and Jen will be uh, driving up there. She's got some friends of the family who've got quite a bit of land up there, so we're quite fortunate um, that we'll be able to get up to some cool stuff. We'll have access to a boat on the lock, which is awesome. Uh, do some fishing, some trout fishing. Um, drive up through Glencoe, go and see some really nice, uh, really nice scenery do some walks, hopefully see some wildlife as well, it'd be awesome, like I'd love to spend a bit of time trying to see some cool wildlife. That looks awesome. There's a lot of road is around when we went last time. And of course we'll, we'll take some pictures as well. We 
can see the LED landing lights on the Jet 273. Can't see these on a lot more aircraft now. Good wave from the pilot as well. I think it was a Sparrowhawk mark after doing a bit of research. My brother's just booked the Scotland 500 for March. Ah, oh, yo, the NC 500, right? We still need to do that in a uh, camper van, Brownville. We do. Ah, oh, what a drive! Might that be is. one for next year. Get yeah. it, get it booked nice and early. Yeah. Oh, dude. That'd be mad content, that. Yeah. Plus two living in camper vans. Yeah. Oh, dude. That looks epic, that drive. I've always wanted to do it, and the main thing that puts me off is I'm worried about having a car that might break down. Because <laughs> yeah. if you break down somewhere on that truck, you're pretty... Uh, it's going to be a well, That's why you need to do it in a camper van. At least you've got a couple of days of food and true. everything in there. True, true. They can be expensive camper vans, though. You kind of... You yeah, but you need, can hire them though, can't you? That's what I'm saying. I mean, to hire them as well, they're quite quite expensive. You know, you're looking at, for a week, you can pay like a, a grand, but then that doesn't even include your petrol or anything. <laughs> the airliner's live Breaking Bad edition. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Middle of a field in Scotland. KLM on the way in. Inbound from Amsterdam. About to touch down 737. Yeah, I can just about see the lights up there. And the Virgin Atlantic A330 is holding, waiting for this arrival. We've also got the Jet EasyJet holidays uh, pinging back up here on the ground. And that's um, going to be flying back to Geneva. It's already taxiing out, actually, the A320. And the Pegasus A320 Neo is already pinging up as well, flight 1180. And that's going to be heading back to Istanbul soon as well. The Maxim Paddy of airliners, man. <laughs> that's definitely something we'll look at. You need a drone for that, though, if you do the oh, NC500. Man, 100%. I wouldn't even know how long to allocate to that because obviously it's 500 miles. You could do it in like a week, but it's all the things you want to do while you're there as well. All the the breweries that you want to stop at, all the castles and all the. Um, Trim loves all the old history stuff like yeah, the castles yeah, yeah. and that. Yeah, I love it as well. All the hikes you can do, all the wildlife spotting, the lakes. Like, there's just so much you can do out there. It's not something you want to rush, basically, is what I'm saying. I love Sky as well. I know that's not, oh, on. Yeah. It's not on the NC500, but it's like you just off it. The Isle of Sky just looks something else. I looked at that when I was trying to find somewhere to go, and yeah, it's just unbelievable. Man. Yeah. Some of the places there. A lot of driving. Would be epic, though. Mm. I like a camper van. The ones that like you sort of sit upright, don't you, and you're looking down yeah. at things. Maybe, maybe we should change Project V to Project Van. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, there we go. What do you reckon, guys? <laughs> Probably it rained the whole time when we went in the sky. Ah, oh, okay. Craig Naylor, nice to see you. Hello. And do they still have the the free houses for the uh, the travellers up in like the Highlands? You know the uh, what are they they're called. Sheds. But they basically are. They're basically sheds of you know, varying quality. Some of them have beds in them. Some of them just have like uh, a stove in there. Uh, not a stove, but like a, uh, like a place to light a fire, like a fireplace. Um, I forget the name of them though. Someone in the chat will know it. Uh, version on the lineup. Bothy, that's it. Yeah, Bothy's. What do they still have them? And like they're they're completely free to use. Like if they're available, you just you know you, the, the door will be open and you just go in and then you lock the door behind you and then you can you can chill just whatever. 
Yeah, I enjoy the lakes. We've been there a few times, Ian. Virgin Atlantic 3.30 on the roll. Yeah, the Lake District's awesome. If you do, you have to eat some haggis. I've never tried that. I've never either, to be fair. It's probably one of them foods that are not as bad as they sound. Yeah, it's like black pudding, isn't it? When you when you describe black pudding to someone, and it sounds horrible, but it's actually quite nice. Uh, next in's of Welling. Not seen these for a while. Uh, inbound from Barcelona. Flight yeah. time of two hours. I've not seen them either for a while. Ten year old aircraft for this one. Whiskey sauce, what's that? That sounds nice. All that comes to mind then when you said that was that Jack Daniels barbecue sauce. Which is like 10 out of 10. Yeah, the wind's definitely picking up here at Manchester. It was very, very calm when we arrived this morning. Now it's picking up. And I know by tonight it's going to be like something like 40 miles an hour winds. Yeah. So it's going to continue to get stronger and stronger throughout the, the afternoon. Haggis is absolutely awesome. Is it really? 2,000 viewers in the stream. Welcome, everyone. Yeah, don't forget to hit the subscribe button and the like button, of course. We're only at... 10,000 likes, so hopefully if we can hit. That's broken. <laughs> That's so funny, isn't it? But saying that, though, if someone was to bot it, it's, it's ended at a very round number, hasn't it? So Yeah, weird, isn't it? But then we already had a 1,000 likes to start with, so I don't know. I don't know. We've kind of got an extra 9,000 from somewhere. Yeah, the wind is really picking up now. Yeah. You're tuned in to Airliners Live here on your Super Sunday. It's the place to be on a Sunday Airliners Live, of course. It certainly is. You don't need any other aviation stream. Thanks for tuning in, everyone. Yep. Loads of support on today's show and good viewers as well. EasyJet to Geneva is now rolling on the runway as well. We will go on over and have a look at that.
something on the tug over there. Looks like a Ryanair, I think. Yeah, quite a few <coughs> Ryanairs stored here at Manchester at the moment. But today seemed pretty busy, so... Maybe more are getting uh, used. Great sound today, says Wayne. Crystal clear. Nice. That's what we hope for, mate. That's what we want to... That's what we want to see. Hey, Dad, you alright? Yeah, definitely. Big engine club. Definitely. Trips to the Alps are very much the favourite of the month. Yeah. Also the Canaries as well. Listen, all I'm saying when it comes to skiing holidays is I'd always pick somewhere warm than somewhere cold. <laughs> <laughs> I'd kind of regret getting somewhere cold. I'd be like, oh, could have been in, could have been in Tenerife. It's like G Liz going to all these trips at the moment. She went to Iceland the other day. Now Iceland's a beautiful country. Don't get me wrong. I'd love to go there. But this time of year, I'd be thinking, damn, I wish I went to. I wish I was in Fuerteventura on a jet ski right now. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> <coughs> Andy will melt. What, in, in Fuerteventura? <laughs> Got the Pegasus on the way back out, we saw earlier on, back to Istanbul. Same A320 Neo as before. I mean, you can go skiing in the UK and like places like, um, is it Chill Factor in Traffic yeah, Park? Yeah, yeah, the one in Traffic. Have you ever been in there? No, I've not. I've been in there with work to yeah. deliver some speakers and stuff before, but um, I've never actually tried it. you got that skydiving place as well. Oh, I want to do that. But have you seen how expensive it is? It's expensive. Isn't Super it? expensive, well, yeah. Just to lie on a fan for a bit, is that yeah. what you're doing? I'd love to do that. What's it, that's a, is that in Traffic Park as well? Have we got a way of gifting subject? No, but they've announced, they've done, um, they send us videos as creators that we can watch and they're saying that it's the most uh, requested feature at the moment um, and it's top of their priority list for 2022. So with it being the most requested feature, I wouldn't be surprised if it's out in the next few months, hopefully. It's YouTube and they take their time with things, don't they? Yeah. They usually roll it out to certain regions first and then beta test it and... It'd be awesome to uh, to get that. I can't wait. I'm gonna have a look at uh, how much it is for indoor skydiving. I fly the cold. I mean, that's not too bad. Has it come down now? Because yeah. it used to be over well, 100. From the Kickstart one, which is the cheapest package they offer, which gives you um, instructions, it gives you the equipment. Um, and it gives you two full flights, apparently, whatever, the, however long they are, I don't know. Um, the equivalent of three real skydives for 50, uh, sorry, 45 quid it is. Mate, fancy a vlog, guys? <laughs> I, I'd, I'd do that. I'd 100% do that. Like, why not? That'd be a pretty funny thing to do, wouldn't it? Airborne, which is basically more flights, 75 quid yeah. for four flights. It's kind of one of them. You, like, you don't try need it. to do it more yeah. than... Like, if you're getting... You're getting twice. Yeah, you kind of just want the experience, don't you? Okay, well, I mean, that's not too bad. Who'd be up for that, ladies and gentlemen, <laughs> to see that as a, uh, a vlog? <laughs> yeah, they could attach a GoPro to our, our foreheads and stuff. I don't know if they'd would they let you. I don't know, maybe it's worth an ask. They'd have I mean, to take some filming gear with us. Yeah, if we, if we told them who we were as well, they'd maybe be a bit accommodating to that. Listen, guys, I want to come in dressed as the A380. <laughs> <laughs> I want to flap my wings I want to flap down the two for you. I want to be G Crow. I would never do it in real life, though. Skydiving. Would you not? No. Mm. Why would you? I kind of would, but I feel like the worst part would be like when you're flying up and all you can think about is it's like you're looking out the window. The only way down is me to exactly, jump yeah. out. Yeah, this plane's not And it's a big risk as well, isn't it? Like, yeah, I guess. It's an unnecessary risk. It's one of them things where if it goes wrong, it's going to go really wrong. Do you know yeah. what I mean? Yeah, and it's all your fault because you, you're the one who chose to do it. <laughs> yeah. I, I, I'm going to look into that. 
What, real life Skyrim? No, not the real one. No. Someone will have to pay me a lot of money to do that. I'd, I'd, I think I'd be down for that. You know. The, the indoor one? Yeah. Yeah, I would. Just as something silly to do. I just wonder if there's a way to like do it and make make it worth our while money wise, you know, like if we could do a vlog that or something. Yeah, because obviously me and Andy would pay for it out of our own money. It wouldn't be a channel a channel purchase, man. There you go. But that's what I'm saying, like if it was a channel purchase, we'd have to make it a channel thing, you know, like yeah. it, we're only doing it for the content. But yeah, I do it with Chances me. of it going wrong are extremely slim. You have two shoots yeah. and you're attached to an instructor who does multiple jumps a day and the shoots auto-deploy at a certain altitude if you don't pull them in time. You know what like worries me the most, right? There's two things about skydiving that worry me. One is like spinning. When oh. the parachute gets trapped and you got like put and it's spinning like mad. So there's that and um, not having the backpack on tight enough and you feel like you're like slipping through it. Ugh. That's, that's the thing. That's creepy, isn't it? Yeah. I'm sure they would uh, they'd sort that out. It sounds a bit like flying in general. You know, like when someone has a fear of flying, they're like, oh, if it goes wrong, it could go really badly wrong. It's like, yeah, but statistically, how often does that go wrong? Like, yeah. Almost never. No, I'm, I'm down for that, though. In Indoor skydiving experience. That, that sounds like a lot of fun. Hilarious fun. But yeah, it's one I mean, you just want to experience, don't you? You don't want to go overboard with it. You just want to see what it's like just for a second. Yeah, yeah, you know, yeah. It was like when I went uh, to that shooting range. I, when I went to it, I was like, I want to try all these different guns. I want to like try like rifles and shotguns <laughs> and all sorts. But once you try one gun, you kind of like, yeah, I, I get it now. I get what it's Mate, like. You'd you know? want a 50 cal though. <laughs> you'd want to have a go on a 50 Some cal. Some recoil on that, wouldn't there be? Yeah. The, oh, re that's the, recoil was, Call of Duty, the recoil's pretty it does get you, you know, you gotta you gotta really hold on to it. Hmm. I only had a Glock, but it was a uh, that was a lot of fun to be. Like kick back in your hand. Yeah, oh it was so satisfying though. Ooh. You could do shooting ranges here in the UK with a uh, rifle. I've done stuff. clay pigeon shooting, that's really good fun. Have you? Yeah. Are they real guns or are they like Yeah, they're shotguns. Oh nice. Like big old bolt action rifles. Yeah, twin cartridge shotguns, it's pretty cool. And Roach is saying, I won't lie, it was scary on the way up. Um, all the way up until the point where we jumped, and yeah. at that point, the fear went immediately and yeah, it was yeah. the most amazing experience I've ever had. Yeah, that's the exactly, thing, right? Is yeah. When you do something like that, it's obviously going to be the scariest bit before you do it and then adrenaline's just going to take over, yeah, isn't it? That must be so terrifying on the way up. Like, I can't even imagine how, like, yeah. how much of a nerve. You'd be, like, shivering. You'd be, like, hands, like, you couldn't hold on to anything. That'd be scary. You'd, you'd feel really sick. But then when it happens, it's like, hey, that was, that was all right. It's like going on stage, you know, like if you if anyone's got stage fright. Yeah. Um, you know, going up on stage is the scariest part, isn't it? And once you're up there, you're like, that's not so bad. And then doing a presentation in school or whatever. Mm. <laughs> so we are waiting for the A380, ladies and gents. Not pinging up at the moment. He said pigs can't fly. Oh, there you go. <laughs> Seen it here first. They made a whole airline out of it. It is quite quiet now, I'm afraid, for Manchester for a little while. Nothing on the approach at all. Um, and nothing on the ground right now. So now's a great time to grab a brew, ladies and gents, while we wait for the uh, 380 to depart. Matt's saying in the mod chat we should all go clay pigeon shooting. Yeah. We should all go indoor skydiving first. We also need to touch base with uh, Simulator Adventures as well, don't we? Yes, see, we do need to see how they're catch doing. up with them, yeah. That'd be good to see how they're, they're getting along. <sighs> yeah, it's very quiet now. This is that awkward period of like, the 380 should be going out now because, you know, that is this is its time to go. 
Also, it wraps the show up nicely because it gets quite quiet now. But uh, we sit here and wait, I guess. And ladies and gents, can we get some mega bongs in the chat? Oh my gosh. For Kevin, ladies and gents, saying, hey, Martin and Andy. Okay, the second and final little donation for achieving 35,000 subs. Cheers from Kevin D. Ladies and gents, Kevin, a huge supporter of the channel. Let's get those mega bong emotes in the chat. For Kevin, for the massive support of the channel today. Thank you very much, Kevin. Wow. Really helps a lot, man. Dude, that's like £100 donated on today's show. That's huge. Thank you very much, Kevin. Come on, guys. Spam those mega bongs. There we go. The 380 is now pinging up. Did you already say that? I did not, no, but that's good news. Emirates Flight 80 in the Airbus A380 Super Jumbo Jet. Now pinging up. Alpha 6, Echo, Uniform, Charlie. We've seen... This the king arrive earlier on the show as the wind picks up here at Manchester, of course. This will be the last departure of the show. And no Lee Davies, we're not gonna wait around till the next one after that. <laughs> <laughs> I can see I can sense him typing already. Oh yeah, but the Virgin 330 is half an hour after that. Still got a bit of wait though as the, the aircraft gets pushed back. Starts all four of them. Them engines and then taxis all the way to two three right and depart to Manchester Airport. Very, very busy week next week on Airliners Live, ladies and gents. I'm so hyped. We have uh, got filming tomorrow, uh, so we're going to be out getting some content uh, during the storm tomorrow. Uh -huh. Some fantastic pilot skills will be on display, no doubt. We'll be getting blown around all over the place, south side. Yeah, so we'll be over there filming. And then uh, Tuesday we have the show away from home. Yeah. And we'll be uh, live. Andy will be travelling for that and I will be involved from the studio. So uh, that's a new thing for Airliners yeah. Live is... Um, a remote broadcast. A remote broadcast and I'll be uh, involved as well, which is great. Yeah. And uh, Wednesday, Andy's filming content at the location as well, um, and I will be busy packing orders, I would assume. Um, Thursday... Well, it's pretty much a day think off. Thursday, we're planning to hopefully have a day off if we can. Yeah. Uh, Friday, we're obviously here for the Friday show, and Saturday, we have the memorabilia fair at the runway visit apart. Make sure you come down to that. 10 a.m. underneath Concord. We will have a stand. We'll have loads of merch. Um, you'll be able to come and see us, say hello, get your picture if you're that way inclined. <laughs> and uh, Sunday, the Sunday show. So uh -huh. one day off next week, if we're lucky. And yeah. a very, very busy week, ladies and gents. I'll be using that day to travel back home anyway. So Ah, of course, yeah. yeah. I'm sure you can give me a, a lift from the airport. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> but yeah, anyway. Nonetheless. Also, the Etihad is now pinging up as well. Oh, nice. So, so we'll catch that as well. Yeah, might as well stick around for that. Obviously, they choose Singapore livery in today. Etihad Flight 22. Um, and usually that doesn't take long to taxi out because it's only got two engines as opposed to four. Looks like the Emirates has completed its pushback. That wind is picking up, isn't it? It is, isn't it? Certainly picking up. It is on the way. What's the storm called? Like, it's an M, doesn't it? Well, it was Storm Malik. I'm not sure. I think it's a new storm now that's coming now. Ah, okay. I don't think it's the same one. Or Jen said she didn't think it was the same one anyway. A380 is now uh, on the taxi, I believe, unless it's still on the... Oh, no, it's being, being towed still, I think. Yeah, we're looking forward to Saturday as well, Jenny. I think it should be a good day for the channel. It's yeah. great to actually um, do something like this. It's the first time we've done anything like that. Like a trade show, yeah. Yeah, that'd be quite cool. You might enjoy it. And yeah, yeah. give us a, an, an option to uh, see everybody as well. Storm Corey is the one that's on the way. Corey? Yeah. Corey's in Manchester. Yeah. <laughs> cool. Uh, no, yeah, in mind, guys, that the fair runs on both Saturday and Sunday. 
but Airliners Live will only be there on the Saturday, guys. So just bear that in mind. If you do want to come and see us, make sure you come down on the Saturday, ladies and gents. Da -da -da -da. Welcome, David. Uh, Templeton Crave, nice to see you. My mum likes a bit of curry. Yeah, my mum does as well. I'm not a fan, you know. Uh, she's always on in the house. And never understood. Never street. known so much drama to take place in one street. <laughs> <laughs> you just move, wouldn't you? When was it they had the train crash? Remember that? They, they redid all the stuff. Yeah, set, when it flew off the tracks. Yeah. And they, had to, they, they redid all the set and everything because they had this big train crash. Like, how dramatic can you get? That was pretty crazy. Imagine that in the in the script. Yeah. Room. We're like, right, we're going to have a train crash this one. <laughs> Thanks for all the followers coming through on Twitch as well, guys. Really appreciate that. There was like a big controversy when they had a co-op, didn't they? Like an actual branded shop and like, and like a Costa as well added to the set. Yeah. Crazy, eh? Bit of brand placement, product placement or whatever it's called. Yeah. They record that in, isn't it? Trafford Park in Media yeah. City. Yeah, yeah. The set's there, isn't it? It's, it's mad because you see the houses Yeah. and they're all flat. Yeah, they are, aren't they? <laughs> it's mad how it looks so real on the show. So obviously it's all sh the studio, isn't it, on the inside? Is there much movement today? Uh, yeah, some planes. A lot of ops vehicles. This programme will be better than Corrie. Hey, that's what I want to hear. That's right. That's right. And we'll be sending you all to the Airliners Live website after we go offline to have a browse and have a look at our fantastic new um, order, uh, orders, merchandise that we have for sale on the Airliners Live website including car stickers yes t-shirts and mugs uh, all three of them have uh, brand new designs uh, we've got the uh, the Manchester Spotters car sticker we got the uh, the Beluga Valentine's Day mug. We got the XL T-shirt, and of course the King of the Skies, the E380 original design, which looks fantastic. That's probably the the thing that we're most proud of in all of this. Yeah, 100%. just because it's such a good design. Yeah, I love it. Cannot wait to get all of it. And I've seen plenty of you guys have been ordering them. So yeah, hype, hype niche. Mm. I reckon we should have the start of the Storm Curry video with the uh, the Curry theme tune. Oh yeah, get, uh, get it copyrighted yeah, straight away. Copyright strikes all all around, but it'd be funny. <laughs> Good banter, just like some chimneys in shot. Yeah. Na, 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 na. Do we want um, the A380 design on a hoodie? Now that is the question. I don't know, you know, I just, I kind of want it just on, it looks so good on a shirt is the thing, mm. so, I don't know, and we already have some really good hoodie designs, and if I'm honest guys, it's a bit of a pain when you have a lot of different variations of clothing, because size alone is enough variation to make it annoying, when you've got different colours and different, uh, you know, different items of clothing, it's just like, it gets very hard to keep on top of it. Whatever happened to the Cory cat? You're asking the wrong person there, Paul. You're asking the wrong person. Ask me a question about Dragon's Den. I'll give you an answer. Yeah. <laughs> Quiz me. <laughs> Although I'm not very good at general knowledge where it's like, oh, it's season 12, episode 4, what happened? Matching shorts for the t-shirt. <laughs> Yeah. Shorts with like an Airliners Live logo on would be pretty naughty, I think. Yeah, definitely for the summer. Yeah. It's just almost unheard of to wear shorts outdoors these days. Yeah, I kept bing and bong in the titles. There's the RVP cat, isn't there? We haven't seen him for a while. Yeah, we haven't. I've got a little uh, leopard. Yeah, a little leopard one. Brand new order just came through on the merch store. Thank you, guys. And uh, Makers Dave, thank you very much for the 100 bits for the US Aviation Geeks. Thank you, guys. 
Appreciate the support. How about some coriander? Okay, come on. Enough of this. Enough of this now. Big Engines Club says, what's Peter Jones's most iconic clothing piece? It sucks. What? You got a true fan here, guys. <laughs> Now it is the A380 and following shortly behind is the Etihad um, on its way to Abu Dhabi in the Choose Singapore livery. So these will be the final two departures for today's show. Hope you've all enjoyed the content today, guys, on the Super Sunday show. He does have some good socks in. He inspires me to get some good socks in. Like, he just rocks them with confidence, you know what I mean? Yeah, like sometimes you're a, bit, you're a bit self-conscious of your socks sometimes, aren't you? It's not something I've ever really <laughs> been that worried about. Are they, are they judging me? Are they? They're judging me on my sock. I just have the wooliest, thickest socks. I have to get a size bigger on my shoes because the thickness of my socks. The storm is rolling in here. It is. It's uh, certainly getting windier by the minute. Yep. As the Emirates A380 taxis to the start of 2 3 right. The Etihad has also started its taxi, so that's coming all the way from Terminal 2. That'll be going into shots in the next minute or so. And if you haven't done so already, ladies and gents, let's click that thumbs up button and subscribe to the channel if you are new as well so you don't miss out on any future shows. We have a show away from home on Tuesday, so uh, make sure you tune into that, guys. Airliners Live Socks. That has been memed for so long now. Like yeah, I will do, Dad. Yeah, I will. We've been talking about Airliners Live Socks for about two years now. And uh, we, ha we, ha we do look at it every now and then. Yeah, we did, didn't we? But it's just not... It's just not... You'd have to sell them for such a silly price. Yeah. Yeah, it's just not worth it. All hail the king, indeed. Y'all know it. What is this? On approach. Inbound from Grenoble. Centerline aircraft, Embraer Legacy 500. Phil Sellers, thanks for the 380 Super Chat. Say, hey guys, we will be up at the RVP on Friday the 11th of Feb. Nice, dude. Hope you have a good trip, mate. Enjoy it. Hopefully the weather is good too. You'll see us there as well. Hmm. Oh, <laughs> that always happens, doesn't it? Mm. I mean, I'm down to stick. Yeah, yeah. Look at that side on view of the Etihad guys. Yes, in the special in the livery. Choose Singapore. Let's get a nice zoom in of that, shall we? Looking beautiful. Here we go. Two of the Middle East three departing. Next, we got the Emirates A380, King of the Skies, and also the Etihad Dreamliner in the Choose Singapore Special. Really nice uh, biz jet though, touchdown in front of us. Making its way to Signature. Now that's a proper biz jet. I love it. That's the one, guys. Nice shape, nice scheme, and a wave. wave from the boys there up front as well. Yes. Hotel Alfa Romeo Golf on the reg for that one. Awesome beach jet. It's good to see Ronaldo back again. <laughs> He's on his uh, RVP chip run, I'm sure. Probably. Hey 
And where would we be without Ryanair, hey? Yeah, great wave there from the captain. Yeah, you can see the wind is definitely picking up and it's noticeable on the, uh, the approach of this bird. Ryanair just uh, was dealing with it a little bit. It's going to get much windier later in the evening into the hours of darkness where we're going to get somewhere between 30 and 40 miles an hour of crosswind, I believe. Into the early hours of tomorrow morning. Here at Manchester. So I think the cafe will be busy today, you know. It locks it. Because it's always like a mass exodus. The 380 goes out. Everyone runs to the the exit or the cafe. We usually stick around a little bit longer than the 380. And ladies and gents, I'm going to be honest, Lee Davies will be very happy with this. There is a Virgin 330 pinging up as well. I think it'd be rude to uh, to leave before that goes. So, you know, yeah. Imagine the 8380 design on a poster. Yeah. yeah. There's a few people said they'd like that. Yeah. That'd be cool. It's easily done. I'd probably add a bit more detail to it if it was a poster, you know, yeah. a bit more text at the bottom and stuff. We kept it a little bit simple because it's clothing. But yeah, that would be kind of cool. Imagine that on your wall. Nice, Waka. Yeah, we'll stick around for that, mate. A little print would be nice as well, like an A4 print. Yeah, yeah. I guess. We'll have a look into it, I guess. Why not? My partner Anthony is on Virgin uh, 127 to New York. He's cabin crew. Yo, is this the one that's going out now? It is, yeah. Nice. Awesome, dude. Oh, I'm sure my dad will be watching that, Ian. Virgin cabin crew. What a, what a, what a job that is. I follow a few pilots and cabin crew on Instagram and the likes uh, who are with Virgin. They're always getting to just crazy, awesome places around the world, whether it's like Mumbai or LA, you know, just every every day they're, they're traveling somewhere exciting. And I've heard it's a good airline to work for as well. Sadly not flying the 747s anymore. Nah, rolling dude, I don't think so, mate. Miss EasyJet. Just touched down uh, from uh, Innsbruck. A3 2200. Nice. What a cool airport Innsbruck is mm. for uh, flying in and out of. Emirates is now uh, entering the runway from Juliet 1. Thanks for all the follows coming through on Twitch, guys. Dragon Fruit, nice to see you. Welcome. Once again, thank you for 35,000 subscribers on YouTube. That is a big number. Cheers, guys. Road to 50k, I guess. It certainly is. That would be massive. I wonder this year if we'll hit 100,000. Oh. Flex. Whiskey Yankee on the reg. And then we'll say 380 on the roll. Here we go. Huh? 
And Jim Messenger, thanks for the two pound super chat bing bongs. Let's keep it up, guys. Thank you, mate. Cheers, Jim. Thank you. It's busy here at the RVP. Yeah, isn't really it? busy today. Just looking around, like wow. Twelve percent on the battery. It should last, ladies and gents. Might have to change it after the Etihad because we've got the Virgin still to taxi out, haven't we? Although, there you go, is the that biggest. The Virgin, is it? What's, what's that over there? That's the no, uh, BA. BA, yeah, Brea, yeah. Another biz jet on approach, it looks like. Uh, again, inbound from Grenoble, an Embraer Legacy 500. And that's uh, again from Centerline. We're having deja vu here. No, ladies and gents, you didn't accidentally rewind the stream. <laughs> What's going on in Grenoble? Whoa, some bloke who travels a lot with a big 35 pound super chat. Whoa. Bing Bong says, well done guys, awesome achievement. I am currently editing out the reflection of my beer belly from a flight video. <laughs> 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 Thank you mate for the yeah. 35, do very generous donation. Appreciate you man. You don't realise how much of a belly you got until you see yourself in photos and videos. You're like, oh, hang on. <laughs> yeah, it's like when I was messing around uh, in jet parks, when I go and pick that microphone up, I was like, ooh, put a bit of weight on there, son. <laughs> Blame it on the layers. Yeah. I see we had a super bong, says Ian Meadow. We certainly did. Kevin with his second mega bong of the day. Yeah. Okay, that's going to go all the way down. A mega bong on the channel is any donation that is purple, ladies and gents, and that's usually $50 or £50 or over. Yeah, we've got another record. Rumour has it there are red ones as well. Yeah, I feel like I've, I don't know if I've ever seen them on this channel. I think, I'm sure some bloke, I can't remember now. Yeah, I'm sure, well, some bloke did donate like 300 ones, but I think he did it in like 100s, I think. I can't remember. Yeah, I think so. I think so. We've got an aircraft on final. It looks like an easy jet by the looks of it. Etihad is lined up for departure. The Virgin Atlantic is just there now. We may just flex it with the battery level that we've got, guys. Yeah, we let's will see. see. Let's see how far we get. I can change the battery, but, you know, it's like for one plane. <laughs> yeah. That's a great shot there. The Virgin Atlantic taxiing out the 3.30. And on to the Etihad Dreamliner and the Two Singapore Special. Now on the roll. decal there on the side of the aircraft. The Virgin Atlantic is on its way to New York, so that's taxiing out behind the British Airways Embraer. Nice wave there from the legacy captain and first officer as well. Hey. Yeah, it's so good to have these US routes back. They really give us a lot more wide body action. I feel like today we've not had too many extremely long lulls in traffic. Yeah, we just had the one, didn't we, which was huge. Definitely felt better than last week's show, I yeah, better than Friday as well. EasyJet just touching down oh. uh, from Sophia A320 Neo. Smooth touchdown there from the, the A320 Neo. We get some Neo emotes in the chat, ladies and gents. Give the Neo emotes some love. Doesn't get much use these days. 
I know some of you use it a lot. Yeah. They're beautiful Neo engines. Leap 1As. I might be alright using this battery actually. Yeah, Virgin's uh, just past Mike intersection. Hey John, hope you well mate. Nice busy end to the stream here, really enjoy it. There's the Neo emotes, I love to see it. Woo! Lima Bravo, the red on this one. Hey, a double wave! Woo! <laughs> oh, is it? Oh, I'll have a look. We got a double wave from the flight deck. I'll have a look when I get back. I have a bad habit of throwing my arms around all over the place trying to get their attention when uh, they're head on like that. And uh, sometimes it works, right? Uh, aircraft on the tax on the runway now rotating. Oh my gosh, that's not quick. British Airways Embraer already up in the air. Not seeing much of that. Wow, that's up really early. It's really high as well. The limit of the tripod reaching there. <laughs> Well, one of the ops vehicles just ahead of us here as well. Is the battery going to last long enough for this Virgin? We will find out. It's a bit of a stretch, but maybe. We're just waiting for the arrival of this uh, EasyJet. We'll, uh, we'll offer them, yeah. So I see them two, three times uh, in a week. Oh, my God. So nice. Send me a picture. I'll have a look. Yeah. Nice one. Well, yeah, there you go, guys. So they're just waiting for the easy jack to touch down, and then the Virgin Atlantic will be the last departure for today. Woo. Lovely finish to today's show. Hope you've enjoyed it today, ladies and gents. Plenty of new members today as well. As always, I'll remind you guys. Any any tier of membership gets you access to the VIP lounge over on Facebook, which is a um, exclusive community uh, group on Facebook for the paying members of Airliners Live. All the team are in there and all these sort of behind the scenes bits and bobs are in there. Also, this secret trip I'm doing this week, Tuesday and Wednesday, I will put early heads up in yeah. there for you guys and early bits and bobs for the VIPs. So get yourself in there if you are a paying supporter of Airliners Live. And if you're not a paying supporter, all you need to do is hit the dollar symbol, then press join on YouTube. Um, there's links in the chat as well to do that or if you're on Twitch you just hit subscribe and Jim Messenger don't be daft man we, we appreciate all support Jim no worries at all and thank you very much for the five pound super chat very generous mate we every little helps Jim no worries at all man. they really do dude cheers Jim as we say all the time there's a few thousand people in here if everyone was to give two pounds that would be a massive amount of support Jim so uh, every little helps mate yeah Veggie yeah. Atlantic on the lineup. Oh, okay, nice. That's nice, man. A321 as well. Okay. It's Russian, yeah? Yeah. It's a flying bull. Hey, another wave. Okay. And the Virgin 330 is now on a roll. Crank up the volume. I love the sound. Here the we go. 330s. A friend of mine here just saying there's a Russian airline started going into Liverpool every day. Oriel Airlines. Oh, nice. Oh, Ural. Would it be? Yeah. Yeah, Ural Airlines. And that's gears up on today's show, ladies and gents. Hope you've enjoyed this Super Sunday show here on Airliners Live. Thanks for all of the support that's coming through, ladies and gents. Jim Messenger just signing up for premium economy membership as well. Bing bong. Welcome, Jim. Appreciate Welcome that, to dude. VIP. Welcome. As always, we will be back 
next week for more shows including a show away from home on Tuesday ladies and gents so keep your eyes peeled for the updates on that uh, and live times um, but yeah we are excited to bring you that show uh, a remote broadcast Andy's going to be on location I'm going to be live from the studio bringing you a studio show um, on that one and uh, it's going to be great very busy week next week do not forget Saturday next week the memorabilia fair at the runway visitor park on Saturday airliners live will be there come down show your support guys it's going to be a great day yep and Nightbot has put in the chat the link to the airliners live website that is shop.airlinerslive.com everyone head on over there now and have a look at the new merch we have on offer if you haven't already and uh, bell juice with a huge 25 pound super chat bing bong says quick donation to finish january bell juice you're a legend man yes that hope is you enjoyed the show mate the end of january for airliners live the first month of the year has been awesome we've really enjoyed it loads of memories youtube's gone absolutely wild as a switch yeah facebook are on something like 100 and sorry 375,000 followers or something ridiculous crazy uh, great job uh, to martin as well on um Instagram as well, smashing oh, yeah. that as well, doing a great job. Plenty of great photos, and the community over on our Instagram is doing really well. If you're not following us yet on Instagram, go on over. It's just Airliners Live is the uh, the name. Um, with or without a space, you'll get the right result. That's going to wrap us up, I think, today, guys. Hope you enjoyed the show. Thank you very much for watching. As always, it's been Martin and Andy, and we've been Airliners Live. Yep. Have a great week, and we'll see you on Tuesday. See you on Tuesday, guys. Yep. Take it easy. Take care. Uh, get yourself in the VIP lounge because we'll try and get some clips tomorrow as well of uh, yes. the storm for you guys. Yeah, that'll but be yeah. great. See you shortly, guys. See, See you too soon. soon.